Check, 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 check. Cheyenne at the station. This is a sound check for 93.7 FM. I, hopefully I got most everything muted. I don't want the music to go on our YouTube feed. It'll get killed. But this is a so, uh, audio check for 93.7 FM. Cheyenne in the Stillwater studio. I'm going to go ahead and mute it now.
Test one, two, three, four, five. The Guthrie Blue Jays student athletes a great season and will be cheering the about the Jays.
looking for Keenan Webb. Has a step on the receiver, and, and it's good at the ten. Five touchdown, Godfrey Blue Jays. And the Godfrey Blue Jays are state champions for the first time in school history, and they are celebrating on the field. The following is a production of Guthrie Football, four-time state champions. Staley gets the snap. He's running with it left side. Touchdown, Attaboy. Blue Jays. Guy Staley and the Blue Jays regain the lead. Next time that I talk to you, I will be talking to the greatest team in Guthrie High School history. The Blue Jays are looking to add yet another gold ball made of Guthrie Blue. Ryan Dutton takes the snap. And there you have it. The 2011 Class 5A state champions are your very own Guthrie Blue Jays for the third time in school history. And they have dashed onto the field. Motion to the left side. They run to the left side with Alexander. Across the five. To the one. Touchdown. I day Alexander. And for the fourth time in school history, the Guthrie Blue Jays are your Class 5A state champions. And strike up the band one final time. One thing that will never be replaced is MTXE. Mental toughness. Extra effort. It's being determined to win in the face of all odds, all obstacles, and uh, coming together as a unit to accomplish that. Year after year, the Blue Jay offense is amongst the most prolific offenses in all of Class 5A. Option reverse to Callis. Callis looking for throw. Wide open Blaze Hastings. Can they connect? He does. Touchdown, Blue Jays. Reverse pass, and the Blue Jays are on the board. Strike up the band. It's that time again. It's time for Blue Jay football. Get Horn Landry Chapel gets every Blue Jay fan off their seat. It's now. Strike up the band. On the Guthrie Radio Network. Blue Guthrie football. Open up mics. It's time to go. Three, two, one. Guthrie Football 2021 is brought to you by Interbank, strengthening our communities through community banking. Golden Chick, the original and still the best. South Point Baptist Church, welcome home. Exxon, we build better business owners. Terror Insure Group, insuring your world. John Vance Auto Group, where it's comfortable to buy a car. North Church Guthrie, you matter. Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Your life is our life's work. And f and Bank, a neighbor you can count on. Guthrie Blue Jay Football is also brought to you by Guthrie Tag Agency, A-Team Overhead Door, Hayes Funeral Home, Sonic at I-35 and Highway 33, Bank First, Hayes Tree Services, Russell Family Power Washing, and Merritt Roberts Farm Bureau, Oklahoma. Welcome to Guthrie Football. The following is a production of Guthrie Football, spanning across the Blue Jay Radio Network. Throws it up for Dante Foster in a triple coverage. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Are you kidding me? Now, let's go live to the stadium with the voice of the Blue Jays, Chris Evans, and tonight's Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show. From McAllister, Oklahoma, it is the second round of the Class 5A playoffs. The winner tonight moves on to the state semifinals. Hello and welcome, everybody, inside Pittsburgh County, McAllister, Oklahoma, Eeks Illy Stadium, first national field. It is the Guthrie Blue Jays on the road with a 10-1 record, taking on the undefeated and number two team in Class 5A football, the McAllister Buffaloes. So glad to join you. Have us on Friday night. Here on 93.7 FM, also streaming worldwide on Guthrie News Page and the YouTube feed featuring Guthrie News Page. It will be a fun night of football. We promise you that. Alongside Mason Russell, Lance Evans, Kel Evans, Braden Russell, Ronnie Phillips, Phil Nichols, Chris Evans with you. Playoff football round number two, Phil. Yeah, this is what it's all about. we got a beautiful night out here. We've got great locate, wonderful people here in McAllister. i got to say that before yep. we go any farther. Hospitality has been incredible since we got here early this afternoon getting everything set up so we have thank you for that and appreciate it very much we're going to see a heck of a football game tonight in many people's eyes McAllister Buffaloes are the number one team in 5A um, and it's been that way most of the year most people have had McAllister and Collinsville in those top two spots Guthrie's taking a different journey we've got them at four some have them at five some have them as low as seven the game of the year they, nobody was really talking about them. the Blue Jays worked their way up the rankings throughout the year with some very impressive wins along the way but 
tonight is going to be the mirror game. I think they look a lot alike. These two ball clubs play the same brand of football, and I think it's going to, you know, matchups make great games, and I think this is going to be a heck of a one. And I can't forget our great teammate in Stillwater, Oklahoma tonight, Cheyenne, on our 93.7 radio board. Thank you, Cheyenne, for we missed you the last couple of weeks. Glad yeah. to have you back. Let's go downstairs on the field with my brother and the sideline reporter, Ronnie Phillips. Get his initial thoughts. Oh, I, I want to kudos what uh, Phil said right there. This the, the hospitality here at McAllister has been unbelievable. So great. The AD's amazing guy. He's been so helpful helpful with us tonight. Um, if you look around, if you can see the stadium as you see tonight, uh, they're going to be doing some upgrades here. It's going to be a little dark on the field. You're going to think, but never fear, McAllister. They got. Um, I talked to Superintendent Randy Huser just a while ago. And they're going to have LED lights here by next soccer season. So a lot of a lot of improvements. They got a brand new uh, outdoor facility that they built out there. So McAllister, I mean, they're going to look good on the field. Their uniforms are really really nice. So McAllister is going to be is ready to go. No doubt about that. I think the new press box also uh, a feature they'll try to get here within uh, the year or so. So a great facility here at McAllister. Great football game on schedule. The Guthrie Blue Jays and the McAllister Buffaloes. The winner moves on to the state semifinals. The loser packs it up for the season. Take our opening timeout. When we come back, we'll dive into this game and take a look at some playoff games around the state of Oklahoma. This is the Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show. Interbank wishes all the Guthrie Blue Jays student athletes a great season and will be cheering the whole way. Interbank is proud to be a part of the tremendous momentum in Guthrie with the growing success of our schools and city. Interbank continues the winning tradition of taking care of their customers with personal and business banking. Located just blocks from the Rock at 224 East Oklahoma or by phone at 405-282-0470. Interbank, in it for you. Member FDIC. For decades, Guthrie Athletics has been a source of pride in the Guthrie community. Hi, I'm Merritt Roberts, and I've been a Blue Jay supporter and Farm Bureau agent for many, many years. I want to wish all the Guthrie student athletes not only a great season on the field, course, track, or court, but in the classroom as well. If integrity, honesty, and accessibility are important to you, call Farm Bureau at 620-4920 and ask for Merritt. I would welcome the opportunity to give you a professional evaluation of your insurance needs or simply stop by and let's talk about the Jays. Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show from McAllister, Oklahoma. 224 East Oklahoma, just yards away from Jell's Stadium. Our good friends over at Interbank, we appreciate them once again. We've been on this broadcast since 2002. Yes, we're still getting better, I promise you, uh, since 2002. But uh, Interbank has been with us since day number one. We appreciate them uh, from, the, from the beginning of the year all the way to the playoffs. They support everything. Anybody ask them to do, you know, one of the great things about Guthrie, we have these tremendous, tremendous – corporate partners and folks that just jump in and when they're asked to help they do and and inter, nobody any better than, than Interbank. They do so much. Yeah, basketball got new scoreboards inside the Guthrie yep. High School Gymnasium. Those brought to you by Interbank. So uh, we appreciate them. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the series history uh, between these two programs and really just the fifth time just the fifth time these two programs have met up. Yeah, I mean, you know, and usually it's in games that matter, right? I mean, I don't, in 2011, of course, the Blue Jays and the Buffaloes hooked up and up the road a bit, and Sepulpa had one of those games that was an instant classic, just back and forth, back and forth. It was windy that day. It was very windy that day. It was cold. It was windy. But luckily, it was cold and windy, but Chris, but that was Big Phil. He had a lot of extra, what, what's that word? Blubber? Blubber. Had yeah. a lot of extra blubber that helped kind of seal him up. But, but, you know, usually meeting these big games, that was a game that led to a championship that year for the Blue Jays. Then come right back in 2013. Blue Jays and the Buffaloes meet the state title game up in Stillwater. Blue Jays were lucky enough to get out of there with the state title also that year. So not very many games, but every game, every time they play, it matters. Yeah, not only in football, but there's been some classic baseball matchups yeah. as well in this guthrie McAllister series. And really, look at guthrie McAllister, really similar communities. Of course, McAllister, two hours away from the Metro. So they're going to have a few more hotels, a yeah. few more restaurants because there's, heck, there's nothing around. This is the hub. Yeah. If you will. And what a beautiful town. We came yeah. rolling in today. I haven't been to McAllister a lot in my life, but it's absolutely gorgeous down here. We rolled into town, beautiful buildings, doing a lot of great work on the infrastructure here in the community. It's, you know, and Ronnie talked about a lot of things they have planned here at the school, but uh, man, first class. The whole day here has been, it's just been nothing but enjoyable, so it's been great. Kickoff set for 7 o'clock here. We're 20 minutes away. We'll have the national anthem. Coming up, we'll have our Mercy 
health report. And, of course, we'll have our keys to the game and all that good stuff here as we get set for Guthrie and McAllister. Guthrie 10 1. Man, we'll get to the game notes here in a little bit, but uh, this is a matchup that has a state semifinal. A little bit, you know, we're at, we're at the home field of McAllister, but it has that state championship type feel as well because both teams mirror each other running the ball. Playing defense, both can throw it when they have to. So it's really a, a iconic matchup tonight. Yeah, it's a big time matchup, and that's what we talked about. Mirroring, I think, is the right way to say it. There's a tremendous, tremendous resemblance, right, between the two schools. I yep. mean, they they're going to both want to run the football. Like I said we'll break it down a little deeper here in a little bit, but and they're going to play that great, hard nosed, tough football. Both sides, both sidelines. It's all about establishing the run game, playing the sound, great defense. That's what's led him to be combined 21 and 1 on the year. And uh, Ronnie, we'll get your, your thoughts, uh, your initial Thank thoughts on Guthrie and Castro. Again, we're going to go a little bit more X and here in a little bit, but uh, your initial thoughts. I think it's going to be a dogfight. You're going to see a, you're going to see a dog fight for four quarters. Uh, both teams, like you said, plays a lot of similar ball. Uh, it's, they're going to be very physical up front with each other, offense and defense, so expect a very physical game from McAllister and Guthrie tonight. Appreciate that report. Take another time out on the Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show. We'll dive into some of the bigger game notes of this contest. Of course, we'll have those keys to victory. And we'll have the Blue Jays running onto the field here in the second round of the 5A playoffs. Should be a good one. Guthrie McAllister. Time out. This is the Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show. Interbank wishes all the gut. Integrity Heat and Air provides award-winning heating, ventilating, and air conditioning services to Guthrie and the surrounding areas. Integrity's indoor air quality specialists are friendly experts at service, repair, and installation. They proudly serve and install the latest Linux products and service all other brands with their A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. Contact Integrity today at 405-833-5992 or online at IntegrityHeatAndAir.com. Integrity Heat and Air. It's our pleasure to serve. Hello, Blue Jay family. I'm Pastor Hetty. I want to invite you to North Church Guthrie, where you can expect fun, Bible-centered kids and student ministries, life-giving groups, engaging worship, and powerful messages. I would love to see you and your family at North Church Guthrie this Sunday at 9.30 or 11 a.m., where our vision is to love God, love people, and follow Jesus. And remember, God loves you, and go win. You can buy a pre-owned car, truck, SUV, or van anywhere. But why would you buy one without a guarantee? At John Vance Auto Group, our pre-owned vehicles come with our lifetime engine, transmission, and other powertrain components guarantee at no charge. Now that's peace of mind. We offer some of the lowest interest rates, too. Everything you've heard about John Vance Auto Group, it's all true. John Vance Auto Group. Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show continues here in McAllister. And uh, you probably heard as we were going out to break, I thought we had the ideal situation here, but the uh, there are three <laughs> huge, I mean, like, if you ever seen the Titanic, it, it's uh, yeah. they look like boilers, <laughs> but they're really speaking. and there's three big ones. So hopefully. Uh, four feet above her head. Yeah, Should hopefully he's not talking uh, too much. Uh, those were just some pregame announcements. Yeah. But uh, welcome back, Ronnie Phillips, Phil Nichols, Chris Evans with you here on the Interbank Blue Jay kickoff shows we had set for this McAllister Guthrie showdown. Take a look at some of the game notes coming into this contest. And uh, Phil, Guthrie flying high in this one with six straight victories. Yeah, Guthrie got hot. You know, of course, they've had a, a really outstanding year overall. Of course, a lone defeat coming to the hands of five-time defending state champion Carl Albert. Carl Albert wins that game. Four seconds left on the clock. Jays won six straight games since this. Have not allowed a score in the last eight quarters. Last week against Noble Bear, the Noble Bears, they just played lights out defensively. Um, had some unbelievable fourth down stands. Um, just played tremendously well on defense. So that's what the Blue Jays right now are, are living on is just a tremendous defense. And, uh, Ronnie, we take a look at the McAllister Buffaloes. Of course, they played in 5A District 3. They are the champions of 5A3 with that 11-0 record. Their strongest test this year, if you can say that, was Coweta, and that was a 33-2 victory for the McAllister Buffaloes. But uh, you look at this Buffalo ball club, they're 5-0 against playoff teams. And again, the only playoff opponent left that they have is Coweta. Guthrie has two opponents still playing right now in Carl Albert and Bishop McGinnis. Yeah, McAllister 
from what we've seen on film this week, we've all kind of looked at film this week. They look, they look pretty legit. They're going to have an outstanding running back, an outstanding wide receiver that you guys will be getting into. But McAllister, they're, they're, they're for real. Let's see, we'll see the physicality. If they can be physical with Guthrie, that's going to be one of the key uh, in the game notes right there. Yeah, no doubt about that. We'll have our keys to victory as well. And coming up, we're about to have our national anthem. And it looks yep. probably going to be the McAllister High School we're marching band. And they're going to have a moment of silence before we do that. And uh, there's some great matchups in 5A football tonight, Phil. Yeah. Bishop McGillis, Collinsville. You got Coeta, Carl Alberts, of course, Pryor, and Lot MacArthur. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's big time games all over the state, but none bigger than in 5A. None better, none bigger. Yeah. And so you know, I think, you know, keep an eye on that. On that McGinnis Collinsville game, that's going to tell us a lot about Collinsville. Yeah, you know, and then, and then of course Coedo and, and Carl Albert. Carl Albert, I think, would be the odds-on favorite going into that game. But tell you what, you know, Coedo's got something. You know, they're saying we got something to say about this in 5A too. So I think the lone game where I think there's a clear club favorite would have to be uh, up in the top bracket of our side with Lockerback. Yeah, no, no about that. Of course, the winner between Guthrie and McAllister plays that winner between Pryor and Lot MacArthur. We'll have scoring updates throughout the night. Brought to you our good friends at South Point Baptist Church. But not only 5A, but 6A, uh, 6A semis are tonight. Of course, 4A all the way down to C, big games. This is a big week of high school football. Yeah, man, 6A two matchups. Yeah, matchups are tremendous. Last week, of course, in 6A, 6A Division two. There, was, there were some tremendous upsets along the way. No um, matter how things 6A one. You know, we had some tremendous, tremendous ball games in that first round that they've left a lot of common names. Mustang, that lone team there that you don't normally, you don't expect always to see, that you don't always expect to see in the, in the semis in 6A1, but you know, you've got that, you've got, you got Mustang playing. Um, uh, Jinx is tonight, and, and you've got fans. Union taking on uh, and we Broken, uh, Arrow. Broken Arrow. So kind of shaping up probably another and Jinx Union matchup at 6 one tonight. And then it's Bixby and whoever's play playing for second. Must they got a chance to get to the finals? I think they got a chance. I don't think they're going to get it done, but I think they got a chance. All right. We're uh, in just a few, few moments, I think. Uh, from tonight's national anthem. And, uh, again, we really hope uh, the PA guy is not bleeding too much into yeah. our broadcast. And there's yeah. zero we can do. It was either be in a room you, where Pastor two people can fit in. Of course, yeah. we have a seven-man team tonight, yeah. missing Aaron Ryburn uh, with us, but uh, uh, or be outside and do the best the speakers. Yeah. yeah, do the so, best we can. Uh, let's go downstairs with yeah. tonight's national got anthem. The, got the Oh, it's not the national anthem. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Let's take a time out. When we come back, take a look at keys to victory as we get set for Guthrie and McAllister. This is the Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show. When garage door problems occur, don't call a kind of service company or maybe a repair guy. Call Paul Creed at A-Team Overhead Door. Paul owns and operates his company and has over 15 years of experience in residential and commercial overhead door service. Paul provides all garage door services from repairs to installations. With free estimates, Paul will work with you to decide the best possible solution for your garage door or opener problems. Call A-Team Overhead Door today, 405-642-7065. Do you want to go from this to this? Are you tired of your pool looking like a swamp thing? Are you ready for the country club look right in your own backyard? If so, you have come to the right place. Russell Family Pools is one of the stop shop for all your pool needs. Openings, closing, weekly, monthly cleanings, pool equipment, maintenance. We do it all. We also offer power washing for all of your decks and concrete surroundings. Come be part of the family. Call Doug at any time, 405-323-3655. Interbank wishes all the Guthrie Blue Jays student athletes a great season and will be cheering the whole way. Interbank is proud to be a part of the tremendous momentum in Guthrie with the growing success of our schools and city. Interbank continues the winning tradition of taking care of their customers with personal and business banking. Located just blocks from the Rock at 224 East Oklahoma or by phone at 405-282-0470. Interbank, in it for you. Member FDIC. The rights to this broadcast have been granted by Guthrie Public Schools. Any rebroadcast or republication of the programming without the written consent of Guthrie Public Schools is strictly prohibited.
Welcome back, Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show here in McAllister, Oklahoma. First national field, home of the McAllister Buffaloes. Fifth meeting between these two programs. We'll kick this one off just less than 10 minutes. Glad to have you on this Friday night. And uh, we'll take a look at some of our uh, warm up here as we take a look at some of the key performers tonight for the Guthrie Blue Jays. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you look at here, you know, you've got the usual suspects, right? We talk about the running game of the Blue Jays. Um, Isaiah Hammond's the key guy to, to make it all go, Chris. You know, Isaiah's the guy. And, and then Calvert, young sophomore quarterback, has done a great job this year. Great, great play at the wideout position. Of course, big offensive line up front. They make it all go. So, you know, it's just it's, it's not complicated what they try to do. <laughs> you just got to stop it, right? Absolutely. And, uh, of course, you look at Isaiah Hammonds and Spade Poole, some of the big-name yeah. play, big players that Guthrie's going to have on offense and defense. But uh, Isaiah Hammonds, he's, uh, he's been the Iron Man, 30 carries a game, 200-plus yards a game, yep. when they matter. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. He's shown up when the game's mattered, right? And I think, of course, had a tremendous year. He's right at 13, 1,400 yards for the season. Closing in on 20 touchdowns for the year, but just a tremendous tailback. And and Isaiah, we've said it all year. We're going to go as he goes. Absolutely. Let's go ahead and take a look at the keys to victory for the Guthrie Blue Jays and the McAllister Buffaloes. We'll start with Guthrie first, Phil. On offense, on offense, they got to convert on third downs. Got to convert on third downs, and you can't put yourself in third and long situations. You've got to be sitting there at third and you know, third and one, third and two, third and three. You get much beyond that, it gets tough. The playbook gets tighter. Just a lot of things happen to allow the Buffaloes to really key in on what Blue Jays do well. The others, we got to contain the Buffalo running game, on right? On defense. On defense. If we, you know, this McCarthy kid, he's the real deal. He's already got a Power Five conference offer as a junior. He's 6'2", about 175, 180 pounds. He can go. I think he's probably the best athlete on the field tonight. And you take a look at the McAllister Buffaloes. You got to gain the momentum early. And what I mean by that, Phil, is they've had they have breezed through their schedule. I mean, they have absolutely breezed. The toughest game, 33 to two, yeah. uh, over Kuwait. It was somewhat close that first half. They blew them out in the second half. They want to get that momentum because we haven't seen it yet. Now, we had, MacArthur kind of breezed through their year and had a fight from behind last week against Piedmont down 10-0 yeah. at halftime. We know. Lot MacArthur there. We haven't seen that from McAllister. They don't want to. Fall, they don't want to fall behind. They want to get up early. Yeah, I mean, and this is where you learn that. That's one of the reasons why I think when you come, most people would agree the 5A2 conference district is the most challenging district in 5A football. If they get punched in the mouth, how are they going to respond? Right. I mean, we just don't know those things yet. So we'll learn a lot about the Buffaloes tonight. And as of course, well. uh, from McAllister, got to win first downs. Got to make got three pass the ball when they when everybody in the stadium knows they have to throw the ball yeah you got to take the running game away from them make them go to the air now now Guthrie can't throw the ball they've thrown it very well throughout the year but there's no doubt about it the Buffaloes are going to be keying in on number 30 and trying to shut that down those are our keys to victory on the night. And, uh, Ronnie, do you have anything more to add to, to your keys? No, I think you guys you guys have been doing this for way too long. You guys nailed it right on the head. It's, it's going to be a physical game. But like Phil said, what I'm looking inter I'm interested in seeing, when McAllister gets hit in the mouth, because we saw it last week with Noble against Noble, Varnell, Spade Pool, Chaputis, all these guys hit the running backs, the wide receivers pretty hard, and you saw them kind of – Kind of like, whoa, what just happened there? So I'm very interested to see how, how, how physical McAllister is tonight. Yeah, no doubt about that. So we know about the Guthrie Blue Jays. We'll get their, hopefully, their offensive line, starting lineup offensively and defensively here in a little bit. Uh, the Guthrie captains are at midfield. We're still waiting on the McAllister captains. But here are some of the names, Phil, uh, for, that we'll be seeing a lot from the McAllister Buffaloes. Of course, you said it first. Number five, Eric McCarty, 6'2", 175-pound junior. And if you missed the high school huddle show on Wednesday night, this is the type of kid that McCarty is. He can rush for a 30-yard touchdown, yep. go on defense, tackle you for a loss for a 15, and then you have to punt the football away, and then he's going to block your punt. Right. He doesn't leave the field. No, he's an absolute stud. Yeah. I mean, he's an absolute stud. We were taught watching him in pregame, and you look at him, and when he walks, he looks fast, yeah. right? I mean, he's just an athletic kid. He's, he does everything for the Buffaloes can do anything they ask him to do. We also, we watched him walk down when school got out, so they were setting up and the team walked over together and he was the leader of the pack. He was the first one out front, just a junior. But I think it's pretty obvious he's one of the leaders of the Buffalo program and just a tremendous athlete. Be a lot of fun. Blue Jays have faced a lot of great running backs this year. He's another one of them. 
Oh, wait, there's more. How about their quarterback, <laughs> number eight, Trent Boatwright, six foot, 170 pound senior. All he did last week in the first round playoff victory over Sepulpa, he threw for five touchdowns. Yeah, we talk about this. There's no bad football teams left, Chris. They're yeah. all going to be good football be teams. Good. And they're all going to have those stud players that can go get things done. Of course, Mr. Boatwright's one of those, the senior, great baseball player as well. You know, good leader. Five touchdown passes. Most people go. We talked about how oh, they like to run the ball. Well, they can throw a little bit yeah. too when they need to. So, and when they need to throw the ball, they look for number eleven, Prather, uh, Kel Prather. He's a senior, and he will have an advantage on the field. Well, Kel's only six five, six six. The AD it wasn't for sure, um, but he's a big boy. You see him. He stands out. We watched that uh, that Sepulpa game uh, on film Wednesday night. And he caught one ball off in the flats and turned the Jets on. Not only is he big, he can run. Yeah. So, I mean, he's going to be the guy they're going to be looking for when they want to go downfield. Um, just an outstanding athlete. You won't have to look very hard to find him. If DeAndre Jones is the player of the game, that's a good thing because he's covering Prather. Absolutely. McAllister kept is making their way to midfield. We're a few moments away from the coin toss. And uh, before we get to that real quick, take a look at the offensive starters there. There's that offensive line, Phil. You know, all year long, the offensive line, we've talked about, of course, about three or four ball games. Justin Berryhill came in, became a starter on the offensive line. You got Chase Doles, Blake Schwartz, Hayden Simpson, Sam Wilhelm, Isaiah Hammonds. We've talked about him, Mr. Everything for the Blue Jays at running back. Carson Wilder, he's good for one or two huge plays. Mr. Dependability does everything. You can always trust Carson to bring his best game. Tyron Eaton has had a fabulous junior campaign. Jalen Shelf came on. Just a great job all the way around for the Blue Jays. Let's go downstairs with tonight's coin toss. Hopefully we can get it in. Right. If there's any way you can come on our side to get more distance. <laughs> we're trying to get the uh, the sound of that. You guys can't solve it, then we're going to solve it. You don't want us to solve it. Agreed? Yes, all right, Jeffrey, you are the visitor. You will call the coin. White is dead. Apologize Black. for the static, folks. <laughs> I'm not sure. We're just going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, Ronnie reporting there. Uh, Guthrie won the toss. Nope. nope. McAllister won the toss. Uh, we apologize for the uh, crowd, Mike. It's uh, a lot of electronics in here tonight. We're in metal bleachers, so hopefully everything works best half. as possible. Yeah, and Guthrie did win the toss. They, de they deferred to the second half. So. Yeah, they did. Yeah, Guthrie did win the toss, and they're going to defer to the second half. So. Right now, guys, I mean, you know, we've got two minutes and 30 seconds till kickoff. Blue Jays and the Buffaloes are ready to hook it up. Take a look at the defensive starters here real quick, Phil. And they're going to have – they've been so good all season long, but the biggest challenge is tonight. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, Landon Herzl's just came on, had a tremendous junior campaign. Gavin C. Landers, player, North Church Player of the Week, a couple weeks ago having a great year. Chris Chaputis, Mr. Everything. Nico Pena, really grown this year as a sophomore, really came on the last four or five games doing great things. Jackson Walters, all he is is a football player, Chris. A little undersized, but he makes plays every week and just does a tremendous, tremendous job. So he's outstanding. And of course, it's the, it's the linebackers, Paul and Barnell. Yeah, yeah, Faye Paul, Jacob Barnell. Then our defense team back, back here. We talked about them earlier. They're going to have to be on their game tonight, Chris, if the Blue Jays want to get out of here with a victory. Both teams have now come on to the field. And we're set for what promises to be a great 5A showdown. The fifth meeting between these two programs. Guthrie's won the last two. McAllister won the first two back in the 1980s. So uh, anybody's game tonight, it'll be fun to watch. Yeah, big ball game, no doubt about it. So Guthrie won the toss. McAllister band will be in the end zone to our right. And uh, this football stadium kind of in the middle of a residential neighborhood. Yeah. There's no school. There's yeah. no baseball. There's no soccer. They have a great indoor facility over here. But uh, it's really football stadium around, surrounded by homes. It's really cool. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Blue Jays in the silver helmets, white jersey, blue numbers, and black pants. And Ronnie, why, why silver, white, blue, or silver, white, black? Why, why the combo tonight? I'm pretty sure that's because that's what happened the last time they, these two matched up in the state championship game, right? Yeah, 2013, Guthrie won these uniforms when they beat McAllister 51-21 in the state championship game inside Boone Pickens Stadium. Not superstitious at all. Not one bit. McAllister Buffaloes in the traveling or in the home black uniforms with gold numbers, that's white pants, and every single McAllister Buffalo before the playoffs started spray painted 
their cleats go. Yeah, it looks sharp. There's no doubt about it. It's their, their sharp looking uh, uniform combo for the Buffalo. Of course, they don't give gold balls out for uniforms, Chris. They do. The matter, what matters is what we do on the field. Guthrie will be kicking left to right on the radio dial. Calster Buffaloes will have one man back. That is 10 yard line. Jersey going to be a little tough to read tonight with number seven. Ezak approaches the football and we're underway. Ball kicked on the near side, filled at the 20 yard line, and they're going to reverse it. And here it comes on the near side, 25 30, 35 40, 45. That's McCarty. And he's going to be tackled in Guthrie territory at the 45 yard line. They mentioned kick retards. They didn't kick it to him, but they found him. Yeah, I mean, he is the best player on the field. There's no doubt about it. I mean, the kid's explosive. They're going to find a way to get the ball in his hand. And we saw it right there about a 35 yard kickoff return. Put the Buffaloes in play at the Blue Jay 45. Yeah, 35 yard return. Ball spotted at the Guthrie 45 yard line. First down and 10. For a receiver set for the Buffaloes. Boat right, the quarterback in the gun. He'll throw on first downs, a little tunnel screen, and Guthrie will blow that one up. Great job. Walters and DeAndre Jones, Spade Poole, and others in on the tackle. Yeah, you know, th th that, that really is just a, a way to get a stretch out like a running play. Blue Jays are going to defend that well all night long. That's something they see themselves every week in practice. So, you know, that's what we talk about this mirror, Chris. I mean, we're going to, these defenses are going to be used to what they're seeing offensively. Loss of two on the play brings up a second down and 12 for the Buffaloes. But right. Gets a sign from the sideline, Coach Frazee, his third season here at McAllister. He had a great run over at Poto. Yeah. But right in the gun, McCarty on his right side, and we'll have whistles. I'll start. I didn't see any flags. Ronnie's down there. Um, umpire down there to the do a flag. McAllister. The officials tonight at the Greater Tulsa Officials Association, the referees Todd Ragsdale, the umpire Justin Finney, the head, head linesman, Aaron Freeman. The line judge is Steve Blank. And the back judge is Mike Tart. Congratulations to this offici officiating crew for getting this assignment as well. Well, they threw a flag. Looks like they McAllister called a timeout. Yeah, I don't know why the flag came out. <laughs> they threw the flag. Maybe, Maybe the time as, as the uh, play clock yeah. possibly yeah, was, yeah, expired. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. So they Sorry got that, that. that timeout in just before that. Yep, yep, yep. You know, this, you, know, you, you watch this, you know, of course, the big kickoff return to start the game, all this energy, all this noise. The football, real football is going to be played here, start being played here in about five minutes, Chris. Here, everybody will calm down a little bit, settle into a rhythm, and start executing on what they do. There's always this, this big burst of energy in the first couple series for right. each team. So we'll, you know, we'll see how it develops. Blue Jays, but Buffalo's back on the field after the McAllister timeout. Second down and 12 from the 47-yard line. Wildcat formation for McCarty. Two halfbacks in front of him. He runs on the right side, and he gets hit at the 46 yard line. One-yard pickup. And now the Buffaloes in third down and passing here. It'll be third and 11. Well, no, I will tell you this. McCarty's a tremendous athlete, but he's going to have to put his toe in the ground to go north and south. Tiptoeing won't get it done against the Blue Jays. Got a nickel package just checked in right here. Yeah, Tyron Eaton, number three, checks into the Blue Jays secondary. They've done it all year, Chris. We'll see if the Blue Jay defense come up with a big third down stop here, give the Blue Jays an opportunity to take over possession. McCarty lines up in the slot on the near side. Got to find him. And then you got Prather the, on the other side, also in the slot. Third and 11, McCarty in the motion. They'll fake it to him. Here's a little tunnel screen, caught and hit at the original line of scrimmage, a one-yard pickup, and the McAllister Buffaloes, after a 35-yard kick return, appears they will have to punt this one away from the Guthrie 45. That will not work most times against the Blue Jay defense. I mean, like we said, they, they see it all week. They know how to defend it. They're sure tacklers. They're going to have to do more than that. Back deep for the Blue Jays, Tyron Eaton. Back at his 14-yard line, it's a good snap and 
Prather punts this one away. It'll bounce at the 15, picked up by Ty inside the 10. Here's his return and on the far side, and he'll be hit at the 15-yard line. And here comes the Blue Jay offense for the first time tonight here in McAllister, first and 10, led by sophomore quarterback Hayden Calvert. Yeah, Hayden's had a great sophomore campaign. There's been times he's looked tremendous, been times he's looked like a sophomore. But overall, what a great year for young Calvert. And I think you, you expect to see number 30 go out there and establish that running game is what I expect for us to do. That's Isaiah Hammonds back there with Hayden Calvert in the gun. Shelf, Jones, Eaton, your receivers. Two receivers top of the formation, one to the right. Calvert looks at that McAllister Buffalo four-man front. Eaton in the motion, two receivers now on the right. They'll hand off to Isaiah, trying to stretch or find the hole. At the 15, cuts it. He gets across the 20, up to the 22-yard line. And Isaiah with a nice run of about five yards. That's what Isaiah, that's what you want to do. Isaiah Go pick up five, six three, yards on the carry. Six, Just six, drive nine, the four. ball, put some long drives together. Great defense is to keep the offense off the field. So Blue Jays will take that all night long. Picked up six officially, so it's second down and four. Calvert checking the line of scrimmage from the 22-yard line. And off to Hammonds on the left side. Bruss lose 30, and he's down at the 33-yard line. And the Blue Jays will have a fresh set of downs. You know, we talked about it in the pregame, Chris, you know, the physicality. How will McAllister react to that 5A District 2 physicality? Blue Jays will just fire up the ball, say, how big of an old boy are you? Come and try to stop it. That's what we're seeing so far. Calvert checks the line. Coaches, offensive coaches on the far sideline. Be first and 10 from the 33, this time between the tackles. And Isaiah might have got back yeah, to the, the original line of scrimmage. Line so, second and 10. Run. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're going to see. I mean, it's a typical Blue Jay offensive drive. We're going to run the football, try to stretch you a little bit, come back up the middle, set up a pass. And I think the Blue Jays, you know, we've done this most of the year, Chris, will use the run to set up a pass situationally. Calvert, two receivers to the right. He'll, appears he'll throw for the first time, rolling, throws it, cut at the 40, and out of bounds in around the 42-yard line, close to the first down Passes marker. It'll depend on the spot if it's a first down. Need it nine? Looks like he picked up eight, line. so it'll be third and short for the Blue Jays. Third and short, and that's what we were just talking about. They're going to use the run, set up the pass. Great job by Calvert, rolling to his right, sets his feet, lets it go. Ty does a great job getting upfield. Third down and short. Exactly what we talked about in the pregame they needed to do. Win third down. We'll see what team can win third down tonight. Third and one from the Guthrie 42-yard line. Calvert slaps his hands, gives it off to Isaiah. Between the tackles, looks like he needed one, and it looks like he might have picked up two. To and with that spot, it'll be a fresh set of downs line. for the Blue Jays. Opening drive, McAllister had to punt it away now, after going three and out. Guthrie moving it well here on their opening drive. So far, having good luck up front. And if you watch the big uglies up front right now, our guys are winning up front. You know, if you can get, if you can get Isaiah just a little bit of space, He'll do a great job finding that seam and picking up great positive yards. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Isaiah finds out and Calvert on a draw play. He's across the 45 up to the 47-yard line. Three-yard pickup for left guard. Calvert. To the 47-yard line. Now, young Calvert's proven all year long that when we want Second him to, line, when we need him to, seven. he's going to go get you yards. I yeah. mean, he can go do it. You want to stop Isaiah? Go, yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, concentrate on Isaiah. I'm going to yeah. poke it and run it for five yards every now and then. Yeah, and I think what we're seeing here is I think, I think offensive coordinator uh, Jason Rice has has seen some things that he can do utilizing the legs of Calvert. Second down and six. Hand off to Isaiah, right side. Two Buffaloes missing. 45 40. Near sideline. 35 30. 25 20. One guy to beat. 15 cut at the 10. He goes to the five. Into the end zone. Touchdown. Isaiah Hammond. 52 yards out. Well, you know, that's, that's what Blue Jays have done all year. They just set you up. They bore you to death with their offense. Nothing fancy, nothing special about it. Everybody knows what they're going to do, Chris, but you got to go out and make, you got to be sound, a sound tackling team if you're going to have luck with the Blue Jays. Great job by Isaiah. Great job blocking outside by those skinny linemen. Did an outstanding job. Blue Jays on the board first, 6 0. Isaac to make it a 7 0 lead. Isaiah Hammonds, he's gone over 200 a couple times, and that's a good, healthy way to go over 200 again. Blue Jays will need every yard tonight as Zizok kick is up, and it is good. Take a timeout from McAllister, Isaac. Oklahoma. Guthrie 7, McAllister 0. This is Guthrie Blue Jay football presented by FM Bank. 
Ace Trace Service is a proud member of the Guthrie Chamber of Commerce and a huge supporter of Guthrie Public Schools. Cody and Kathy Hayes are available 24-7 for emergency tree work when Mother Nature hits. Hayes has the experience and equipment needed for tree trimming, removal, and stump grinding. Fully insured, Hayes is the company that other tree guys call for help. For a free estimate, call 405-535-6560 or find them on Facebook. Go Blue Jays! For centuries, it was a windswept prairie until the run of 89 saw settlers scramble for land and life in a newborn town as Oklahoma's territorial capital, Guthrie. Bank First is loyal to the preservation movement that reclaimed Oklahoma's first state capital. And we're loyal to the banking legacy born at the corner of First and Oklahoma streets. Bank First, loyal to Oklahoma, loyal to you. Isaiah Hammonds from 52 yards out gets the Blue Jays on the board first. 7-0. That's what you want to see if you're a Blue Jay fan. Ezok to kick it left to right on your radio dial. Here's a return on the near side. 35 driven out of bounds before the 40. It'd be first and 10 for the Buffaloes on the return. Bass was late pass. He's a senior. And the Buffaloes have a second opportunity offensively against this Blue Jay defense. It'll be interesting to see what, what the Buffaloes come out and do. You know, that, that opening series, like we talked about, you know, a lot of times it's just a calming down situation, right? You're trying to figure out what you want to do, get a rhythm to yourself. So it'll be interesting to see what the Buffalo. I'm sure they'll stick to the running game, do what you got in you here, and see what happens. I do see it looks like we've got a Wildcat formation to start off. Yeah, no surprise there with McCarty. Again, everything runs through him. He might not get the ball everything, but everything runs through him. A little Wildcat field, Mitch, nothing up the middle. And he's going to be hit for a loss. Nico Pena with the tackle at the 35-yard line. Yeah, sophomore Nico Pena. We talked about Nico. He's a young man. It's going to be a big-time player for the Blue Jays over the next couple of years. Getting in the backfield, causing to disrupt the whole flow of the game. It's going to bring up a second down 11 for the Buffaloes. Loss of one on the play. Back at the 37-yard line. It'll be second down and 11. So second time the Buffaloes have second and long beyond 10 yards. Yeah, not, not something they're used to. Right. Not something they're used to. You talked about that in the pregame. And I think they'll go back and bring Boat right back in at the quarterback position and move number five McCarthy over to the tailback, split to the right. All right, we'll get off to McCarty. He's going to be hit for another loss. That's Chris Chaputis in the backfield. Big 45. Yeah, you know, big Chris Chaputis is disruptive all the time. That's what makes our our defense go. That, that front defensive line is so quick and so physical. Really frees up our linebackers, seniors Jacob Varnell and Spade Poole, ability to go run. They run the field very well and to make plays. Chris didn't need the linebackers there this time. He got in the backfield and caught him quick. Loss of one, so it's third and 12 for the Buffaloes. Buffalo fans on the near side right in front of us making some noise here as it's another third down and passing situation. 4.32 to play in the first quarter. Guthrie seven, McAllister zero. Two receivers to the left. But right rolling to his left. Wants to throw, throws it last second. It's going to be incomplete. DeAndre Jones and Zach Henry the on the coverage, down, and down, the Buffaloes down, will have a fourth and 12 punting fourth time. Down. This isn't what they expected. You know, they haven't, I, I, I can promise you, they haven't had too many three and outs all year. Yeah. I can almost guarantee you they haven't had two straight three and outs all season. And, you know, and it's early. I mean, the Buffaloes, they'll settle down at some point, but. But right now, the Blue Jay defense is, is making, their, <laughs> making their name known in McAllister. Fourth and 12. Bass rolling to his right. P punts it away. Guthrie will let it bounce. It'll bounce across the 45, now across the 40. A big bounce on this yep. artificial turf. It'll end up at the 30-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Guthrie Blue, Blue Jays. Is dead at the Blue Jays line. taking over first on down. the 30. And you will see a lot this drive, just like we did the last. You'll see the Blue Jays come out, establish a running game, try to get positive yards, use the run to set up the pass. We'll see if the Buffaloes can make a stand here for um, against the Blue Jays. I just, you know, right now, so far, the offensive line of the Blue Jays are dominating up front. From the 30-yard line, first and 10 for the Jays. Calvert puts in the belly of Hammonds. McAllister figured that one out as Isaiah's going to be hit for a two-yard loss. Right back to the 28-yard line. line. Yeah, good job by the Buffalo defense there. And 
you know, that we talked about in the pregame. You know, you want to set up short third down situations if you're the Blue Jays. Second down, 11. They got to look for him to do something out in the flats, try to get a little space out there, either with, you know, with Isaiah, obviously, or try to hit something out wide, short, and let somebody go be athletic and make a play. But got to get back in a better situation. Looks like we got a Wildcat situation for Blue Jays. Second and 11, that's Jalen Shelf. This is the first time we've seen it in game action. He'll roll on the right side, cuts it at the 30, gets to the 32-yard line. So that's not on game film, so that's the first Blue time McAllister sees it. Three-yard pickup. Yeah, first time we've seen it. Picked up about four or five yards. Going to be third, third down and down. long. Not ideal for the Blue Jays. Probably a passing situation here for the Jays. Third and nine from the 31-yard line. Offensive coordinator Jason Rice. We talked about all these players having a great season. Jason Rice has had a great year calling plays. Jason's done a great job all year putting the kids in situations where they can be successful. Keller back in at quarterback. Third down and nine from the 31. Keller rolling to the far side, plants the feet, still looking. Goes downfield, and that one will, will be thrown out of bounds. Not really that close at midfield. And Guthrie will have the bunch of football away on fourth down and nine. Yeah, that's what we talked about early in the game. We're going to see some ebb and flows. People still trying to get a rhythm. Buffaloes did a good job there defensively, yep. stifling the Blue Jays. They're going to be Four back and turn this punt and see Blue if they can get something going offensively. Ball marked at the 32 on the near hash mark. Punt formation is Hayden Calvert. He stands at his 18-yard line. DeAndre Jones and Zach Henry will have the first opportunity to get down to make the tackle. It's a good snap. It's a good punt. Bounces. Caught, excuse me, at the 30. Nine. Here's the return on the far side. Has room, room midfield. 45 and driven out of bounds. And for the Let's second time in three tries, the McAllister Buffaloes will sit up camp in Guthrie territory. Yeah, good return by the Buffaloes. Blue Jay coverman overran the punt, found himself two or three yards deep beyond the punter. Had a kid right there blocking him. It was enough to seal him off. Then the kid was able to catch the edge, pick up great yards, like you said, starting at the Blue Jay 40 three-yard line. First and 10 for the Buffaloes. 2.39 to play in quarter number one. Guthrie leads it 7-0. Isaiah Hammonds with a 52-yard touchdown run. Two receivers to the left. A handoff between the tackles. Yeah. Boy, a big pop there. McCarty got hit pretty good on that one, Phil. Yeah, I mean, that's just... Jackson I mean, Walters. That's just okay. not going to be there. I mean, it's just not going to be there. I think one the thing the Blue Jays have done so far is they've shown the ability to really create havoc up front. And big Chris Chaputis right there again. And I, tell I heard you, that up here. Yeah, he's a tough one to move. And he laid a lick on him. But he was going to bring up you know, no no pickup on the on the place. It's be second down and 10 for the Buffaloes. Blue Jays right now defensively just playing with so much confidence yeah. right now. Second and 10 for the Buffaloes. McCarty on the left side of boat right now. He'll flank out to the near side. The throw to him on the screen cut. 45, cuts it and gets to the 40. Jackson Walters grabs the ankles for about a three-yard pickup. Third and seven, 149 to play, quarter number one. Down. Yeah, third down and seven. You know, they're they're doing what's worked for them all year, getting out there in space. But Blue Jay defense is just playing outstanding right now. Jackson Walters, we talked about, of course, spade pool out there as well. Talked about how good our linebackers can run sideline to sideline. Doing a fabulous job. This might be four down territory for the Buffaloes. Yeah. Ball's at the 40. They need the 33-yard line. So if they don't get seven here, if they get close, more than likely we'll go for it on fourth down. Third and seven, though. Boatwright gets the shotgun snap. A little screen is caught. 40, 35, lunging to the 34. Shy the first down by one yard. Jack Priestad with the reception. And the Buffaloes, you know, will go for it on fourth and one. Yeah. Next snap will be under a minute. Yeah, and I would look for them to go into Wildcat, snap it direct to the big stud, tell him to go hurt. You know, I, I don't think there's any doubt number five is going to get the ball here. It's just a matter of who's going to get the push up front. If the, if the Blue Jays can get a push, great opportunity to stop them here. Buffalo, Boy, that'd be a big momentum swim, wouldn't it? Buffalo fans on their feet. Guthrie's had a lot of defensive stops on this year. Can they get one here in the first quarter? Boat right under center. No, that's McCarty. Excuse me. And somebody jumped off sides. Both teams pointing at each other. Guthrie seems pretty adamant that McAllister jumped first. We'll see what this Tulsa officiating crew saw. False start on the Buffaloes. I, I still think they'll go for it, Phil, on fourth down six with 38 ball, seconds left. Ball start, yeah. McAllister. Yeah, I think, I mean, you're, what, what can you net here, right? I mean, there's just not a – now, I didn't see their punter 
work in the corners much in the in pregame warm-up. Not saying he can't, but I just didn't see it. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Boy, that when they went out there with Marcardi under center, it looks like they would get one yard every single time. Absolutely. But, but. This defense <laughs> takes pride in stopping those type of plays. Yeah, one, one yard is not going to scare him. We, we saw a team take 11 whacks at it last week inside the one yard line. Buffaloes will line up in punt formation. Guthrie will not put anybody back deep. They say if he can punt it to our one, oh, now they're going to put Jackson Walters back deep. And McAllister will have to spend another timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. 17 seconds left in quarter of one. Guthrie seven, McAllister zero. This is Blue Jay football presented by FM Bank. At Terry Insure Group, you'll be helped by lifelong Blue Jay fans. Seth Robbins, Jason Herzl, and Dennis Oaks aren't limited to any single provider. We'll work with you to find the carrier and the plan that fits you best. Terry Insure Group is an independent insurance agency specializing in home, auto, and commercial lines of insurance. Call Terry Insure Group at 405-293-4880 or stop by at 622 South Division or visit them online at TIGOK.com. Terry Insure Group, insuring your world. Hayes Funeral Home is a proud supporter of the Guthrie Blue Jays from the first game all the way to the championship game. With years of experience in funeral service, the Hayes family brings compassion and professional service during difficult times. Owners Chuck, Lynette, and Hope take pride in providing families and their loved ones quality care. The Hayes family supports Guthrie's student athletes on the playing field and in the classroom. Hayes Funeral Home is located on the corner of Noble and Wentz. Visit online at HayesFH.com we apologize. The officials not giving us our, a lot of time, but McAllister with a fake punt. They needed nine yards, or they needed six yards, and they got seven yards. It's a first down, and that's the end of, of quarter number one. We apologize. We will work with the officials to give us our full allotted time. Quarter and number one in the books. Got three seven. McAllister zero. We'll come back. It'll be McAllister Blue football Jay first and ten for the 32. This is the Blue Jay football presented by FNM Bank. I got the pickles. Order up on the Sonic cheeseburger. You got cheesecake and you got ice cream. So when you put the two of those together, does that does that make it one thing? I'm not even listening to you right now. I know. Sonic cheesecake glass. I'm really having an experience here. This is <laughs> Sonic at I-35 and Highway 33. There's one big difference between Vance Auto Group and the other dealers. Transparency. We show all the discounts and rebates on our website long before you arrive. See your monthly payment, your current vehicle's value, Carfax, and everything about the vehicle you're interested in buying. You can even buy any vehicle, new or pre-owned, without leaving home, right from our website. Buy with transparency at the John Vance Auto Group. John Vance Auto Group. We're set for second quarter action here in McAllister. The Buffaloes will have a first and 10 from the 32-yard line. That's the Guthrie 32. They'll hand it on a little jet sweep play. Lead blockers. Guthrie blows it up. Another tackle for a loss. This time it's Jackson Walters in the Royal Jackson Blue and White. Walters. Jackson Walters has done it all year. He, he's all over Jackson the field. What a tremendous young player. Like I like to say, he's just a football player, folks. He just goes out and makes plays every week for the Blue Jays. Great job by Jackson. Big tackle for a loss. Loss of four on the play. So it's second down and 14. For the Buffaloes, with that fake punt that we missed due to the officials. Giving us 12 seconds on our timeout. Well, we'll get to that here in a second. <laughs> Boat right rolling to his right. Here's the pressure, gets away from Chaputis. Won't get away from the next guy. That's Delonte Glover with the sack. And McAllister will have a third and long, but McAllister having to go with the tricks early in this ball game. I think the coach forced uh, Maisie feels it a little bit. There's no doubt he does. I mean, you can see how he's reacting with this with this false start call down here. They're not used to being in this situation. They're not used to defenses getting pushed like that into their backfield. Now, let me get this straight, guys. Very dangerous 
McAllister offense, they could they could explode at any time. I mean, they've got all the weapons to do it, but thus far the Blue Jays are dominating up front. Lost back to the 43-yard line. Third down and 21. Boat right in the gun. Has time. Throws it down the middle. Not even close. DeAndre Jones on the coverage. I don't think the Buffalo receiver oh, even saw the pass oh, headed his way. It's fourth and 21 down. this time from the 43-yard line. So you would certainly think McAllister will line up in punt formation and punt this one away, trying to dig – Got three deep into their territory. Yeah, if they run another fake, they're definitely feeling it. it. Yeah. yeah, feeling yeah. it. And, and I don't think that'll happen. I think you'll see them kick the ball away and get ready to play some defense. Jalen Harper back deep for Guthrie. He stands at the 11-yard line. It's a good snap on the punt. They do punt this one away. It's on the far side in the air. Bounce at the 10, takes a Guthrie bounce. It takes a huge Guthrie bounce. McAllister let it go a couple extra yards. It's down at the 16-yard line. First and 10. 10.27 to play in quarter number two. Guthrie leads McAllister 7-0. And uh, exactly how you drawed it up so far. So far. <laughs> yeah. you know, we'll, yeah. see, we'll see how it plays out. You know, the, the thing that's great about when you have great football teams on the field together is that there's going to be ebb and flow. There's going to be, you know, one team's going to go out and really establish some dominance. And that, but a great team will battle back. And these are two outstanding football teams. Calvert takes a shotgun snap, hands it off to Isaiah. He'll run between the tackles, pops it on the right side. And Isaiah will get maybe one yard, second down and nine. Upcoming for the Blue Jays. Uh, again, in the traveling white jersey toss, blue numbers, First black pants for our radio audience. Mark Good to be back on 93.7 FM across north central the Oklahoma. We missed them. Down. Been off two weeks, nine. Oklahoma State basketball. Yeah, there's some reason they think Oklahoma State's basketball is more important than Blue Jays. Not in November, I can tell yeah. you that. Calvert to throw. Has a man open. It's DeAndre Jones, and it's intercepted. Intercepted at the 42-yard line. Thank you, Mr. Kaper. First turnover of the night goes to McAllister. Big turnover. He you know, just under threw the ball. DeAndre tried to get back and play defense on that, but just couldn't get there. The ball was just flat underthrown. Good, good play by good play by the Buffalo defensive back. Yeah, the Blue Jay defense is going to have to come out here and make another stand. Buffalo starting at the Blue Jay 42-yard line. Not where they had it before they yep. had to punt the football away. Yep. So McAllister yet another. This is their fourth offensive series, the third time they started in Guthrie territory. We'll see what they do on the turnover. McCarty lines up on the left side of boat right. The so run game on the right. They do run it on the right with McCarty. Cuts it and he will get a couple of yards as he'll get to about the 39, maybe the 38-yard line, pick up a four. Those four yards are hard to come from for a party time. Yeah, it was a hard-earned yards, no doubt about it. And Inside the 40, you can see, you know, eight-yard line. This is real simple game plan right now in football. They're going to run the ball. Blue yep. Jays have to stop the run. I mean, there's nothing fancy about what either side is doing which is the kind of football I love to watch. You know, it's about execution. It's about just getting out there schematically. How are you, how are you operating? How do you, how do you effectively run your, your uh, defensive game plan? Bo Wright with six on the play clock. They got to hurry down to three. They've already spent two timeouts, two. One, just in time on the snap. Handoff to McCarty between the tackles, 35. And he'll get near the 32-yard line, close to a first down. You can tell by the reaction of this McAllister fan that when he gets the ball, they think he's going to bounce every single time. Yeah. And they're celebrating these short runs. So yeah. that tells you yeah. he's done it plenty of times. No, no, no. There's no doubt about it. I mean, it's... You know, and the Blue Jays, if you're the Blue Jays, you got to settle down a little bit. Just say, okay, guys, we've done this. Let's just play our game. But, the, but you can see it, McCarty. The kid's a stud athlete. I mean, he's very quick. He hits a hole hard, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, you can stop him 10 times in a row, but what can he do on the 11th time? He's under center here, and we have flags. I think McAllister might have went a little too quick as they go in the huddle, then they sprint to the line of scrimmage and try to Get snap it before Guthrie's ready. Buffalo. And actually said offside, so they might have lined up offsides. Oh boy, <laughs> haven't been outside in a while. <laughs> Call the game. <laughs> Come on, Phil. Oh boy. So loss of five, back to the 37. It'll make it first down and 15. 8:23 to play until halftime. Only score: Isaiah Hammonds. 
52 yard touchdown run. McAllister. With four in the play point, they got to hurry up and get there. They need to get to the football with two, one, snap just in time. McCarty notes play action, boat right looking, throws it, and it's behind his intended receiver. A lot of confusion by the offense, Phil, yeah. be before the snap and after the snap. Just incomplete, second down 15. Yeah, just not really in a flow. <laughs> yeah, you know? I mean, they're just rushing. Right yeah, everything's a rush. You know, we'll, it's, it's just a, uh, but again, when you when you have somebody come out and punch you in the mouth, start the ball in your first two possessions, you're not used to that happening. You know, it, it's going to take them a while to calm down and figure things out. But Blue Jay defense, like they've done all year, they're coming up big again right here. Buffalo's line of scrimmage with 11 on the play clock. Second down 15 from the gun, 337 yard line. But right in the shotgun. He'll hand it off to McCarty. He'll try the right side. 35 breaks the tackle, 30. Cuts it to the 25, breaks the tackle, tackle, 20. 15, cuts it again. He's at the 10. He's headed into the end zone. Touchdown, McCarty. 37 yard run. And that, that's what we talked about in the pregame. This kid's explosive. And boy, he's got good vision. We saw there, Chris, when he got a little bit of an opening. He was, his eyes were downfield. He was looking for that next team. He found it, and he can, he's got some jets. He can run. 37-yard touchdown run puts the Buffaloes within a run. Oh, excuse me, within a run, within a point. Snap, hold, whistles. That one was blocked by Whistle Varnell, but play. the whistle stopped everything, though. It's going to be offsides. Well, the officials looking at the Guthrie sideline like, do you want to accept this penalty? I think he's confused. It, it's, yeah. it's, on, it's on Guthrie. Okay, yeah. yeah, he said offsides on the offense earlier. Yeah. It's, it's a big game. Offsides, <laughs> Guthrie. There you go, offsides on Guthrie. So we'll move up a little bit closer. We've seen McAllister go for two several times this yeah. year, but they do keep their kicker on the field, trying to tie this one up with 7.48 to play in the quarter. Snap, hold, kick. Line drive, and it is good. Buffalo's tied up. 7-7, 7-48 seven, 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 play in quarter number two. Time out for McAllister. This is the Blue Jay football presented by F&M Bank. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? Cheeseburger. One cheeseburger. You got it. Just something for cheese, pal. I got the pickles. Order up on the Sonic cheeseburger. You got cheesecake and you got ice cream. So when you put the two of those together, does that does that make it one thing? I'm not even listening to you right I now. Know. Sonic cheesecake glass. I'm really having an experience here. This is Sonic at I-35 at Highway 33. There's one big difference between Vance Auto Group and the other dealers. Transparency. We show all the discounts and rebates on our website long before you arrive. See your monthly payment, your current vehicle's value, Carfax, and everything about the vehicle you're interested in buying. You can even buy any vehicle, new or pre-owned, without leaving home, right from our website. Buy with transparency at the John Vance Auto Group. John Vance Auto Group. McAllister ties it up, Phil. 37-yard run by Eric McCarty of the Buffaloes. That is your John Vance Motor scoring summary. Game tied 7-7. Kind of what we expect would happen. Two great running offenses, throwing when they need to, good defenses. Shape it up like we thought it would. Buffaloes to kick this one left to right on the radio dial. They kick this one deep. Over the head of DeAndre. It will. Oh, oh you can't return it. Yeah. DeAndre. DeAndre. Good, good. Thank goodness for the high school roll. Once the ball goes into the end zone, you cannot return it. DeAndre let it roll to the two and the one. He didn't pick it up until it went into the end zone. Yeah, he'll be a little talking to on that one. <laughs> hey, real quick, let me give you a South Point Baptist Church scoring update. Bishop McGinnis, 13. Collinsville, 14. Going into the second quarter. Prior, zero. MacArthur, seven. And Coweta and Carl Albert deadlocked at seven in the second quarter. As expected, good games in 5A football. First and 10 for the Blue Jays from their own 20-yard line. Calvert, after the turnover on the interception, gives it off to Isaiah, stretches it out, 25, 30, pushed out of bounds somewhere around the 31 or 32, player. unless he stepped out before Moving that. Nope. Right it's going to be at least 10 yards, Phil. Yeah. And they're going to give him exactly 10 yards to the 30-yard line, yeah, first and 10 Jays. Well, you know, Isaiah just continues to stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. Catches the edge, gets that first down, moves the chains again, moving patch up here. You'll see what I'm talking about. 
Stretches that edge, turns it upfield. Great job getting to the chains, moving the chains. First down 10, Blue Jays. First and 10 from the 30, 731 till halftime. Isaiah between the tackles, dances on the right side, moves the pile for about three yards up to the 33 yard line. It'd be second and seven for the Blue Jays. Again, on a six game winning streak. Guthrie's passed it this year. Overtime victory over McGinnis, down to the stretch against Carl Lowry. So if that comes down, that does bode well for Guthrie. Yeah, battle tested, you know. The coach playing in an extremely tough district play. You can see it, three of them still playing tonight in great ball games, so. It will help the Blue Jays if they get in that situation. Under seven to play in quarter number two, 7-7, seven, seven, Guthrie McAllister. Second and seven for the Blue Jays from their own 33-yard line. Three receiver set. Ball handed off to Isaiah. He goes across the 35. Breaks the tackle. 40, 45 midfield. 40, trying to outrun the Buffalo. 30, 25, 20. He's stampeding to the end zone. To the five. Touchdown. Oh. Isaiah Hammond pumps 67 yards out. Isaiah, he's the man we talked about in the pregame. We're going to go as he goes. Right now, he's going crazy. I'll tell you what, this is a great start for Isaiah. He's got to be close to 100, 130, 140 yards already on the night. Probably 150 plus yards. Great job by the Blue Jays coming back and answering that Buffalo score. Well, he's got 119 yards on touchdown carries alone. That's pretty good. Yeah. Well, you remember, Phil, he guaranteed me over 200 in the interview last week. He did. He did. Extra point for the Blue Jays. Ezoc trying to make it a 14-7 ball game. Quiet Buffalo Stadium here. Snap, hold, kick, Ezoc kick is on the way, and he splits the uprights. Guthrie back in the lead, 14-7, 643 to play in quarter number two. Timeout from McAllister, Oklahoma. This is Blue Jay football presented by f &M Bank. Need immediate care and can't get in to see your doctor during regular hours. With Mercy Convenient Care in Guthrie, you can walk in without an appointment and get the medical attention you need at a lower cost and with shorter waiting time than your local emergency room. The Mercy Convenient Care is located at 2919 South Division. For any concerns, call 405-282-6301. Services are provided by Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Choose Guthrie. Choose Mercy. Interbank wishes all the Guthrie Blue Jays student athletes a great season and will be cheering the whole way. Interbank is proud to be a part of the tremendous momentum in Guthrie with the growing success of our schools and city. Interbank continues the winning tradition of taking care of their customers with personal and business banking. Located just blocks from the Rock at 224 East Oklahoma or by phone at 405-282-0470. Interbank, in it for you. Member FDIC. Blue Jays trailed for 52 seconds until Isaiah Hammonds. Ran off for a second touchdown of the night, this time from 67 yards out as your John Vance Motors scoring summary. And uh, Ronnie, stretch play working well for Isaiah and the Blue Jays tonight. Stretch play's been working excellent for the Blue Jays. Got stopped a few times inside, but right there, they went inside the tackles again right there, and he busted. He was a big hole. The thing I noticed, too, people a lot of times say, well, how fast is Isaiah? On that play, he was fast enough. He's very fast. Yeah, he was and fast I don't enough. know if you guys have kind of noticed this, but you know, last week when we had that, ex we playing against that explosive Noble Bears offense, they were taking time off the play clock. Here, they're getting right up there. They're, they're clocking around 20 seconds, 23 seconds as before last week. It was about 10 seconds on the play clock. Yeah. He's not to kick this one. I don't think they're going to be kicking very deep. It's somewhat of a short kick, fielded at the 30, excuse me, 29 yard line, coming to the near side. Oh, he's got a lane. To the 35, 40. And still on his feet, and it'll be tackled finally at midfield. So McAllister once again with great field position here. Down seven to the Blue Jays, 631 to the Golden Chick halftime show. And uh, our good friend Casey Porter watching this ball game. You know who he, who he thinks Eric McCarty looks like when he played in high school football? Oh, boy. Teddy Lehman at Fort Gibson. Oh, that, you know what? That's a compliment. That's, That's, a compliment. That's a big compliment. Of course, we were talking to the athletic director from McAllister earlier. You know, we're talking about some of the offers that he's had already just as a junior. He said, of course, you know, he wants to play running back at OU. <laughs> That's his primary goal there. First and 10 for the Buffaloes. McCarty on the left side of boat right. Gets the snap. He'll run on the right side. 45-40, 35-30, and finally driven out of bounds. It'll be a first down at the 25-yard line. Quarterback the Blue Jays are going to have to come up and start, you know, playing a lot more physical than having these last two series. 
Carney can get this edge. He gets the edge. You're going to have a hard time. You're going to have a hard time containing him if he gets the edge because, I mean, you know, he's, he's going to be the fastest guy running back there. 25-yard run, midfield yeah. to the Guthrie 25, first and 10, 624 to play in quarter number two. Guthrie 14, McAllister 7. Buffalo show power to the right side. McCarty on the left side, Bo right. He'll run it up the gut, and he'll pick up a few yards to the 20. Two yard yard line. Line. Maybe the 21, pick up a four. He, he does, you know what he does? He does this little stutter step. He'll do this little stutter step up to the line of scrimmage, and that's kind of his way of trying to see where the lane is. And when he sees it, he hits it. He's had, had great success the last two series. Gavin Sealanders, Delonte Glover, Chris Chaputis. In on the defensive line, Herzl and Walters complement them on the outside. Second down and six from the 21. Two receivers to the right. And now the Buffaloes will flop the line from the left to the right side. Two receivers to the right as well. They'll run it with McCarty on the right side, looking for that lane. Will not get it here. He'll get to about the 19-yard line before being tackled by a few Blue Jays, including Jackson Walters and DeAndre Jones. Chris Chaputis was in the area as well. You see the replay while well, I'm talking about Chris at the corner comes up, initiates contact with him. That's what our corners have got to do to slow down McCarty. DeAndre there on that near side corner. Whitfield, the far side corner on this third down and four play. Buffaloes from the 19, they need the 15. Obviously, four down territory here if they can't get it on third down. 5-10 to play till halftime. Boat right in the shotgun. They'll move McCarty over to his left. Power on the right side of the line of scrimmage. They'll run to the right. Oh, play action. Throw it into the end zone. Touchdown, Prather. Play action. That was an outstanding play call by the Buffaloes there. Sucked the Blue Jays up, went to the big target, number 11, down the middle, 6'5 kid. Quarterback, boat right for McAllister, hobbled a little bit. Hopefully we'll see him get back on the field. Don't want to see anybody go out of the game ever, for sure not in the playoffs. You want to make sure they got their kids out there, but see if they can get him back in the game. Snap, kick, it's up. And it is good. We're tied. 14 14. 459 to play in quarter number two. Take your time out. This is Blue Jay Football presented by FM Bank. Today I'm sharing Golden Chick with the world. Are you ready to taste Golden Chick for the first time? 100% tenderloin. That's where the Golden Tenders come from. Marinated for 24 hours. It is amazing. And we also got the rolls made fresh. It feels like they were just baked. You know why it feels that way? They were. Every time I go, I love to get extra okay. rolls, so I love it. Mm -hmm. We are being kind of photobombed right now by the one and only Clucky. Have you met Clucky the chicken? Don't get too starstruck. He's just a regular guy. One taste and you're golden. Cool. He's on Tender. That's like a chicken dating app. Hello, Blue Jay family. I'm Pastor Hetty. I want to invite you to North Church Guthrie, where you can expect fun, Bible-centered kids and student ministries, life-giving groups, engaging worship, and powerful messages. I would love to see you and your family at North Church Guthrie this Sunday at 930 or 11 a.m., where our vision is to love God, love people, and follow Jesus. And remember, God loves you, and go win. We promise you a good one in McAllister, as Phil said in the Interbank Blue Jay kickoff show. Yeah, every team left is good. They're all good. Yeah. You look at some of the scores in 6A, we've got a 3-3 tie in in uh, Jinx and uh, Mustang. Mustang. And you got a 3-0 game with Union and Broken Arrow. There's <laughs> a lot of defense being played tonight. 14-14 here in McAllister. We'll have the John Vance Motor Scoring Summer here in a second as the Buffaloes kick this one left to right on your radio dial. Another deep kick. Fielded at the one. Here's the return. Center of the field, 10. That's DeAndre out to the 15 quickly, and he'll get to the 20-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Guthrie Blue Jays as the McAllister Buffaloes second scoring drive of the night for them, this time through the air. Boatwright fighting prey there on a 19-yard touchdown reception. You your goal is to stop McCarty, McCarty, and then you play action, and you hit Prather. And the coverage was there just a little late. Yeah, it was there. And, and you know, listen, Prather, big athletic kid. That's somebody you got to count for on every play. Yeah. You can't get lulled to sleep. That happened a little bit on there. You know, focused on, on uh, McCarty. Will Jay offense back on the field, first and 10. Carson Wilder, the halfback on the right side. 
Calvert takes the snap. He'll hand it off to Isaiah. Up the gut, across the 25, near the 26-yard line. Six healthy yards the on the play here. Now I'm loving these 67-yard run, touchdown runs, and these 52-yard runs by Isaiah Hammonds. In fact, I'll take a 74-yard right here also, but wouldn't mind a few first downs, work this clock down. Uh, I would rather have, the half. I'd rather have about 28 seconds left and have Isaiah score on about a nine-yard run. Okay. That'd make me happy. We're not asking for a whole lot. No, just, no, no. Just trying to. Just putting in requests. Yes, that's all. Four, five yards officially, so it's second down and five. Calvert back to Isaiah. He's going to be busy tonight. He only will get maybe two yards on the play here to the, plug up the middle. 20. Nine-yard line. Jay is going to need about two yards here on this third down play. Under four minutes to play in quarter number two. Guthrie 14, McAllister 14. Third down, we'll call it three yards to go. Two receivers to the right, one receiver to the left. Guthrie has not completed the pass. The only pass completed, unfortunately, was an interception for the Blue Jays. Let's see if they have to here on third and three while they're on the right side. They'll try to throw for it. Calvert backpilling. That's completion. It is the completion. Okay, yeah, I'm trying to say. I knew completion. First down, Blue Jays. Got it by a yard. Needed three. They get four. Ty Eaton for the Blue Jays. I don't know if we saw, but on the replay here, that ball was real close. It looked like to being picked off. It looked like number nine tried to jump it, or number three tried to jump that. Pass. Oh, ball's on the ground. Excuse me, that's Carson Wilder on the reception here. On the ball on the ground as we resume action. Lost the inside the 30 yard the line. Lost the, the 29. 29 yard Lost line. Lost the four yards. They'll call it the 28. Second Lost the four. Down and 14. 14. Yeah. Three minutes to play yep. in the quarter. Yep. That was Carson Wilder, not tight on the reception. Yep. I apologize. Yeah. Big first down by Carson again. Done it all year. So this is what McAllister wants, second and passing situation yep. here. Yep. Guthrie has all three timeouts, McAllister with one timeout. Second down and 14 from the 28-yard line. Calvert will throw, nothing on the near side. Now he'll tuck it and run, won't get much. Just nobody was open. Calvert won to leave the pocket, paused, looked again, took off and gets to the 29, oh, right, maybe the 30. Top. And so it's going to be third down and 12. Yeah, and what I will say here, if one thing went right on that play, Chris, it's that Calvert didn't throw the ball up, do something crazy, kept his composure, lived to fight another play. So we'll see what the Blue Jays can do here in third down and long. Third down and 13 from the 29. Buffalo fans to their feet. DeAndre Jones in motion left to right. And timeout, McAllister, their final timeout Oh, the time half, and um, the I can't take a time. I'm too nervous. They, do, no, no. Give, us, they give us the full time. No, no, so no. We're you, going nowhere. You good? <laughs> yeah, we're good. We'll, go right. ahead, we'll go ahead and keep it here and kind of give an update on how we've gotten here so far on the John Vance Motor scoring summary. Isaiah Hammonds, 52-yard touchdown run in quarter number one. Got three late 7-0. Three scores so far in the second quarter. Eric McCarty, the junior talented running back, 37-yard touchdown run to make it a 7-7 ball game. Isaiah Hammonds, a 67-yard touchdown run, made it 14-7 with 640. Three to play in quarter number two. McAllister didn't need much time, uh, less than a minute 45 to get back in the end zone when Boatwright found Prather on a 19-yard touchdown reception. And that's how we've gotten 14-14 here on the John Vance Motor scoring summary. Yeah, big third down long for the Blue Jays here. We'll see what they try to dial up. 158, they may do something with you know, a, a screen, middle screen or something like that, or run the ball even, punt the ball away, and try to get out of the half. McAllister out of timeouts for the rest of the half. Minute 58 left, we resume action. 14-14, DeAndre Jones in a motion. Third and 13, Kevin rolling to his right. Throws it on the run. Wide open, it's caught by DeAndre Jones, but will he have it up for the first down? Looks like it'll be about a, a half a yard shy of the first down marker. So if you're gun three, they, the clock is rolling. And if you don't get the first down here, you probably take much time as you can. You probably get it down to one, well, they, you probably get it down to around 123, 124. The clock will start and stop and start and stop it. I don't it's diamond package coming in right now. Guthrie's going to go for it. <laughs> uh, They're going to show it anyway. Remember, Guthrie has timeouts. They're going to try to maybe draw the Kouser off sides. Playoff football. Varnell in front of Hammonds. 
There's a snap, hand off to Varnell, first down at the 44-yard line. Clock will stop for the change to set with 120, and looks like barring a, pill, a, a turnover, Guthrie might not be able to go 58 yards, but McAllister more than likely won't have another opportunity in the second quarter. Yeah, and I think that's what you're trying to accomplish right there, right? You know, if, if you can put some points on the board with a minute 10 and clock running, great. But the main thing is you'll be able to control the clock and get into, get into halftime. Blue Jays get the ball, too. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Calvert will throw the ball, and it's incomplete. Intended receiver Jalen Shelf at the 40-yard line. Stops the clock with 55 second down. seconds. Second down and 10 coming. 55 seconds. Blue Jays to the line scrimmage. Trips left. Carson Wilder in the slot. We'll see if he moves over in the halfback spot on the right side. Second tip from the 44. Calvert wants to throw. Far side screen caught by Shelf behind the line of scrimmage. Tunnel, 45, and he'll continue on into midfield. Down at the 45. Got a bump from a teammate. Picks up 11 yards. Clock stops with 45 Number seconds at the Buffalo 45. Got the assist from the big ugly down there. <laughs> Picks up the first down. 45 seconds left on the clock, as you said, Chris. Blue Jays moving. Might get a timeout here, maybe. Nope. They take the snap, first and 10. Coward to throw. Far side and incomplete. The 10 receiver was DeAndre Jones. Second down 10, 35.9 seconds left in quarter complete. number two in a 14-14 ball game. Of course, Blue Jays do have their timeouts left. All three. The winner of this ball game will play at a neutral site, Lawton MacArthur or Pryor next week. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Shelf and Jones, the receivers top of the formation. Flanked out now is Hammonds. Calvert to throw. Whistles. Did Guthrie call timeout? There's a flag. Looks like Guthrie There's might have jumped. On the far side. Dead ball. Yeah, it is a false start against the Blue Jays. It's Referee really Todd good. Ragsdale out of the Guthrie Tulsa Officials Association. And my homework tells me that uh, I don't know if he's the current president or the past president of that Tulsa Association, but Todd, Todd Ragsdale, either the current or former president of their club. Yep. Second down and now 15 from midfield. 33 seconds left in quarter number two. Three receiver set. Calvert to throw. Has time. Goes downfield, has a man, and it's incomplete. Trying to find Isaiah Hammonds. Isaiah was able to get a step. The safety was a little Blue late getting over. Incomplete. Ball hits the turf, 26 incomplete. Seconds. 26 down. seconds left in the half. Yeah. And we thought they were going to try to get in at the half, and they come out and throw the ball three straight times. See what they draw up here. There's no reason to stop now. Third and 15. From midfield, 12 on the play clock, shotgun snap. Hand off to Isaiah, right side, steps, and he'll get back close to the original line of scrimmage. 18 seconds, 17 seconds. Wait, maybe just call a timeout with one or two seconds, maybe three seconds, throw a Hail Mary. It worked in the 2013 state championship sure game. About from the same spot. Reed Roberts to Elliot Curry. And the clock will wind out into no, the first half. Uh, well, we don't have Elliot Curry. We don't have Reed Roberts. There's the clock. <laughs> they stopped it. McAllister PA guy said that's the end no, of the half. That's no, not. No. Nope. We're going to have about two seconds left. Yeah. yeah. They're going to yeah. need to put more time on the clock. And yeah. Exactly as we thought. Just a little. How much time? Clock guy needs to pay a little more attention. Three seconds. So we'll have one more play. Yeah, 2013, just before the half. Remember, Zonte Beasley yep. got it in around this area, as you mentioned, Phil. Reed Roberts rolled to his right. Elliot Curry ran a sh just straight down the field. Hell Mary, Blue Jays three, in the locker room. That's, that's a little momentum. If that was to happen right now, then the Blue Jays come out and get three the ball yeah. to begin the second half. It'd be big. Of course, it's not likely. But it's playoff football. Yeah, sure, absolutely. And uh, the other thing that could possibly happen is you have pass interference. You have one untimed down, maybe uh, another chance. So a few things can happen there. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Good radio, Chris. I'm calling a pitching ditch right here. Oh, boy. <laughs> That'd be the first one I've ever seen this off this deep call. <laughs> They've already ran two plays that we have not seen all year long, though. That's true. Three seconds left in the half. 
One final play, bar and a penalty. Fourth down and 11 from the 46. Calvert. Flushed out. Throws it near side, and it will be incomplete and the at the 32-yard line. Jalen Shelf, the antenna half receiver. Time. And now we have officially made it to the Golden Chick halftime show. Guthrie, two rushing touchdowns. Isaiah Hammonds, McAllister, one rushing, one passing. We're deadlocked in a good way. The 10-1 Blue Jays, 11-0 McAllister Buffaloes. Nothing decided in the first half. Take a timeout when we come back. It will be the Golden Chick Halftime Show. Stay tuned with us. We'll have first half scoring summary, first half highlights, and we'll also have that South Point Baptist Church scoreboard update. Stay with us from McAllister, Oklahoma. This is Blue Jay Football presented by f and Bank. Before you go off on that family vacation, be sure to obtain your Oklahoma Real ID license at the Guthrie Tag Agency. You'll need a Real ID or passport to fly domestically. Don't forget your vehicle's tags, titles, and renewals, and you gotta have that Pike Pass. Do you need to obtain your driver's license? Yes, the Guthrie Tag Agency does that and much more. Located at 2105 South Division Street, the Guthrie Tag Agency is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday and 9 a.m. to noon on the first and last Saturday of the month. Call 405-282-387. F&M Bank loves giving back to the communities we live and serve in. Banking with us ensures your money goes back into your community. Our goal is to provide you with reliable banking you can trust, delivered with unique passion for service. F&M Bank has all the modern banking services, mobile banking, lending, reward checking, electronic checking, and more. We invite you to come see us at any of our eight locations. Come see what relationship banking is all about. F&M Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, we're there. Have time. <laughs> kind of what we thought the game would be like. Two very equally matched programs. Very similar types of offenses. You know, just a great football game so far. You got you got McAllister. It's got all the offense in the world. Guthrie says we got a little bit of offense too. It's been a wonderful ball game so far in the first half. 14-14 in the uh, rock concert has broken out here. And, uh, you know, I think we have one more timeout to get to. We have break 11 to get to. Let's go ahead and do that. Maybe the rock concert will end. Yeah. So we got one more break we need to get to. When we come back, we'll dive into. Uh, thank you. Uh, we'll go. We'll dive into the Golden Chick halftime show. 14-14. This is Guthrie Blue Jay football presented by Evan Bank. Church, we want you to cheer loud and be proud as we send the Blue Jays to victory. Afterwards, join us each Sunday in our friendly family atmosphere. South Point invites you, your family, and friends to join us each week with Sunday school beginning at 10 a.m. and our morning service at 11 a.m. South Point wishes all students this season to make fun and exciting memories, not only on the playing field, but in the classroom as well. And as always, go Blue Jays. Do you want to go from this to this? Are you tired of your pool looking like a swamp thing? Are you ready for the country club look right in your own backyard? If so, you have come to the right place. Russell Family Pools is one of the stop shop for all your pool needs. Openings, closing, weekly, monthly cleanings, pool equipment, maintenance. We do it all. We also offer power washing for all of your decks and concrete surroundings. Come be part of the family. Call Doug at any time, 405-323-3655. I uh, got the pickles. Order up on the Sonic cheeseburger. Because you got cheesecake and you got ice cream. So when you put the two of those together, does that does that make it one thing? I'm not even listening to you right I now. Know. Sonic Cheesecake Glass. I'm really having an experience here. This is <laughs> Sonic at I-35 at Highway 33. Integrity Heat and Air provides award-winning heating, ventilating, and air conditioning services to Guthrie and the surrounding areas. Integrity's indoor air quality specialists are friendly experts at service, repair, and installation. They proudly serve and install the latest Linux products and service all other brands with their A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. Contact Integrity today at 405 8 Three three five nine nine two, or online at IntegrityHeatAndAir.com. Integrity Heat and Air, it's our pleasure to serve. First national field here in McAllister, Oklahoma. E Hooks Ely Stadium, they call it the Hook here in Pittsburgh County. Got three Blue Jays in the locker room 
along with those McAllister Buffaloes, 14-14, along with Ronnie Phillips, Phil Nichols, Chris Evans with you. It is the Golden Chick Halftime Show. Hey, good news, Golden Chick fans. Uh -oh. Hope Seth Robbins is listening oh, yeah. or watching. The bones have been extended through the holidays. Yes. Seth was there four times this week. Good. It's down a little bit because he's traveling right now. Yes. He would have got his mandatory aid in, but he was going out of town. Be sure to go to Chick, uh, Golden Chick, get those tenders, get that gravy, get that mac and cheese. Don't forget now that hot roll. 35 and they 33 is the location What's there. What's that seasoning three? Seth likes so much? What's that called? Golden Chick. Well, yeah, Golden They got the seasoning. They got that special seasoning. Don't ask the question if you don't know the answer. I, I don't, have no idea. You don't know the answer? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, it's outstanding. Seth will tell us. He'll, yeah, he'll yeah. text it. He's driving somewhere in New Mexico right now. Hey, we appreciate all of our great listeners and viewers out there. Kara Walters checking us in tonight. Hello to Miss Kara. Hello yeah. to Josh Ball and all of his great family members watching the broadcast as well. Dustin Bowman and Jaden Chapel watching in the man cave at Mr. Bowman's house. Got a whole setup there. They got an area for the kiddos to play. Watching the Blue Jays, two formal great Blue Jay players himself. 14-14 is your halftime score. If we can go ahead and dive in, Phil, if you wouldn't mind taking a look at that South Point Baptist Church scoreboard update. Uh, again, uh, Guthrie, the winner of this Guthrie McAllister game, you're going to hopefully not have the rock concert behind us, but. Uh, 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 I forgot what I was going to say. I was, was going right, to have Barnett a production note for yeah, my wife listening. If they play the music, let us know if the music's blurring us out. If no, we, we can take a time out. We yeah, don't want to miss right. any of the halftime show. Yeah, but, absolutely. Sorry, Phil. S South Point Baptist Church scoring update. Uh, in 6A1, Jinx 3, Mustang 3 at half. Broken Arrow and Union. Union's leading that one 3 to 0. Big Devency uh, stands in 6A1. Get 6A2 pulled up all effort there real quick. 6A2, we've got. I'm guessing Bixby might be winning. Well, that. they it, probably it, will. Bix, Deer Creek's up 13-3 at the half over Sand Springs. Sandites battling the trouble for Bixby. They gave up six points. They're up 35-6 in the second quarter, Chris. Wow. Of course, in 5A football, we've talked about that. Of course, the winner of this game likely to take on Lawton MacArthur. We think that was the one game in 5A that could get a little out of hand tonight. And as the games are loading here for our updates, I can tell you that that is the case right now. Lawton MacArthur ups at the end of the second quarter, 27-0 over Pryor. Carl Albert and Kawita deadlocked at seven at half. And Collinsville and Bishop McGinnis, one minute left in the second quarter, 21 21. How cool, how cool would it be if Guthrie, McGinnis, and Carl Ebert were three of the final four teams left? It'd be pretty cool if you're a 5A2 fan. That's a big deal. Yeah, it that's really a big is. Deal. And, I, you know, and, I, and listen, we, we talked about it driving down. We thought, you know, we thought that prior team might be a little overmatched by Lot and Mac. That's kind of proven to be true. We thought, man, the other three games, it's they're up in the air. Yeah. Anybody can win those things. We all had our favorites, right? But none of them were said with a lot of confidence or said, oh, yeah, they're going to win, right. Right? right? And so, boy, it's playing out that way. Some great ball games in 5A. Hey, Ronnie, I'd like to get your thoughts here as well. I'll let Phil go first. But in that first half, and this is just with me watching it here, it feels like Guthrie might be the overall better team than McAllister. But McAllister has shown that they, when they have time, they can throw the football. Now, getting time against this Guthrie defense is another thing, but it's not that much difference between these two ball clubs. No, they're very equally matched, and I think well, I think you're right. I think overall the feel of the game is Blue Jays might have a little edge as far as just being the overall better team so far. I will say this. There's a lot of adjustments being made in those locker rooms right now, Yeah. and that's where the coaching really, that's where they earn their stripes, right? right? What kind of adjustments can you make? What did you see in the first half? Where can we go? take advantage of something we saw. I will say this, I think the Blue Jay sideline, they're a little more battle tested, I think, you know, and they're, and because they, we saw a few times in the first half where, where, where McAllister's coaches got a little little caught up in the moment, yeah, yeah. right? Now, that's not saying they're not great coaches, we no. know they are, but it, you know, but the, the flow of the game, everything, you know, I think the Blue Jays are in a good spot right here. Ronnie? Uh, I think you're absolutely correct about that. I'm over here 
by the Blue Jay locker room. All four of the offensive coaches are out here huddling. They're talking about it. They've been out here for the last five to ten minutes discussing about the strategy for the second half like you're talking about. But like you said, if you notice the McAllister Buffaloes, as the, as the half ended, a lot of their, a lot of the, a lot of that student athletes, the football players, were walking towards their locker room. They weren't running. So th again, this is a dog fight. They have been in this kind of situation all year long. So we'll see if they can rebound here. Yeah, really their closest game all year with Kawita. 33 to 2 was the final score there. So Buffalo's in an unfamiliar territory. That was one of our keys to victories for Guthrie to get that early momentum. They did, but McAllister was able to get it back. But I think as both teams go into the locker room, I think that momentum is down the field 50-50. Yeah, I think it is. I think, you know, I mean, listen, these teams are equally matched. Yeah. I mean, these this is the kind of ball ball clubs, if you and I, I know it's cliche, if they played 10 times, they'd probably be five and five or six and four, right? I mean, there's not any one team that's dominantly better than the other. Right. Now, I will say though, you know, the Blue Jays, they don't they don't turn that ball over. You know, you might be looking at a 14-7 situation or even more for the Jays, depending on what they do on that drive. But, you know, it's the feel of the game is that the Blue Jays are in a good situation right now. That's the first half. The most important half, the second half, kicks off here in less than 15 minutes. Take another time out here on the Golden Chick Halftime Show. Take a look at the first half highlights. We'll look at some, uh, some scoring summary as well. Take a time out. This is the Golden Chick Halftime Show. For centuries, it was a windswept prairie until the run of 89 saw settlers scramble for land and life in a newborn town as Oklahoma's territorial capital, Guthrie. Bank First is loyal to the preservation movement that reclaimed Oklahoma's first state capital. And we're loyal to the banking legacy born at the corner of First and Oklahoma streets. Bank First. Loyal to Oklahoma. Loyal to you. Exxon was founded by two combat-proven veterans to help businesses grow from mediocre to exceptional. We know from experience that your culture and trust throughout the organization drive superior performance. Most business owners focus on the urgent rather than the important. They are just struggling to survive. The team at Exxon helps owners identify challenges, build solutions, and focus on growth. Do you trust your team? Does your team trust you? If not, we can help. We are Exxon. Golden Chick halftime show here in McAllister. Guthrie 14. McAllister 14. Guthrie has not trailed in this ball game. As we take a look at the John Vance Motors first half scoring. Well, take a look at the highlights as well, Phil. But Isaiah Hammonds got everything going here on a 52-yard touchdown run midway point of the first quarter. Yeah, I think you'll see the Blue Jays get back to this in the second half. Isaiah, he catches the seam. He's gone. You got two. You got two great running backs tonight going head to head. Here's the other one, Eric McCarty, on a 37-yard touchdown, run. kind of similar to Isaiah cutting it to the left and to the right. Yeah, he's a, he, I mean, he's a shifty back. Similar styles of, of runners. I think Isaiah runs a, you know, is a little tougher runner between the tackles. But boy, McCartney, he gets out on the edge. He's good. Yeah, that's a that made it a 7-7 ball game. And here's Isaiah Hammonds again, this time on a 67-yard touchdown run. How fast is he? Just fast enough in the Buffalo secondary. As Isaiah, 67-yard touchdown run. So he had 119 yards on touchdown runs alone in the first half. And then McAllister, final points on the board here as they found Prey there at the 459 mark on a 19-yard touchdown pass. Guthrie bit on it a little bit yeah. as the defense didn't quite get there in time. That is your first half. John Vance Motors scoring summary. Take another time out here as we await both teams to come back onto the field and get set what promises to be an exciting second half of football. This is the Golden Chick Halftime Show with the world. Are you ready to taste Golden Chick for the first time? 100% tenderloin. That's where the Golden Tenders come from. Marinated for 24 hours. It is amazing. Then we also got the rolls made fresh. It feels like they were just baking. You know why it feels that way? They were. Every time I go, I let to get extra okay. rolls, so I love it. Mm -hmm. We are being kind of photobombed right now by the one and only Clucky. Have you met Clucky the chicken? Don't get too starstruck. He's just a regular guy. One taste and you're golden. Cool. He's on Tender. That's like a chicken dating app. The Golden Chick Halftime Show rolls on with the John Vance Auto Group scoring summary right after this. 
You can buy a pre-owned car, truck, SUV, or van anywhere. But why would you buy one without a guarantee? At John Vance Auto Group, our pre-owned vehicles come with our lifetime engine, transmission, and other powertrain components guarantee at no charge. Now that's peace of mind. We offer some of the lowest interest rates, too. Everything you've heard about John Vance Auto Group, it's all true. John Vance Auto Group. It's Friday Night Football here in Oklahoma. I appreciate everyone watching and listening tonight. Got a great crowd. We appreciate every one of you guys. As Guthrie brought a great traveling uh, squad here tonight, uh, Ronnie, as uh, Blue Jays uh, uh, loud and proud inside Hook Stadium. Absolutely. We encouraged everybody last week with the interview with Coach Beebe to come out and support us, to support the Blue Jays, and they came out full force. This is a Larry over here, and all, all, those, lane, all those seats are, are taken over here. Uh, uh, McAllister, their, their crowd is up and going. Haven't had a whole lot to cheer about for McAllister, but they got started there in the second quarter. So, Yeah, 14-14 here at the break. Battle of the running backs here in McAllister. Guthrie getting close to come out of that locker room to yep. go through their second half stretches. And uh, uh, we got uh, two more breaks to get to. Is that right, Brayden? One more break? Okay. Uh, before we hit the break, I'm going to get Ronnie. We'll, we'll let you go first. Keys to the second half. Guthrie, two hours away from home. What do they have to do to go back home victorious? If you're the Guthrie Blue Jays, you're in a really good position right now going into the halftime. You get the ball to start the second half. But what Guthrie has to do, what they didn't do in the first half, is they got to get McAllister to start on their side of the 50. Too many times they started on Guthrie's plus side. So that will be a key, to, key for me to see and make sure that Guthrie can get them to start back on their side of the field. Yeah, I'm a boring old guy, Chris. But for me, it's all about ball, you know, protecting the football, not making mistakes. And I think it's also going to come down to Guthrie establishing what they do well. Go back to what they do, run that football, drive the ball down the field, take a lot of time off the clock, keep that explosive Buffalo offense off the field. If you protect the football, you do that. I think the Blue Jays go home happy tonight. Those are your keys to the second half. Take our final timeout. We'll come back. Blue Jay football, second half action here. This has been the Golden Chick Halftime Show. Sometimes you need immediate care and can't get in to see your doctor during regular hours. With Mercy Convenient Care in Guthrie, you can walk in without an appointment and get the medical attention you need at a lower cost and with shorter waiting time than your local emergency room. The Mercy Convenient Care is located at 2919 South Division. For any concerns, call 405-282-6301. Services are provided by Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Choose Guthrie. Choose Mercy. Integrity Heat and Air provides award-winning heating, ventilating, and air conditioning services to Guthrie and the surrounding areas. Integrity's indoor air quality specialists are friendly experts at service, repair, and installation. They proudly serve and install the latest Linux products and service all other brands with their A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. Contact Integrity today at 405-833-5992 or online at IntegrityHeatAndAir.com. Integrity Heat and Air, it's our pleasure to serve. Today I'm sharing Golden Chick with the world. Are you ready to taste Golden Chick for the first time? 100% tenderloin? That's where the Golden Tenders come from. Marinated for 24 hours. It is amazing. And we also got the rolls made fresh. It feels like they were just baking. You know why it feels that way? They were. Every time I go, I love to get extra okay. rolls, so I love it. Mm -hmm. We are being kind of photobombed right now by the one and only Clucky. Have you met Clucky the chicken? Don't get too starstruck. He's just a regular guy. One taste and you're golden. Cool. He's on tender. That's like a chicken dating. Welcome back. First national field here in McAllister, Oklahoma. Big thank you to our crew. Again, we're, we're minus one tonight, Aaron Ryburn. And, uh, boy, Aaron, we miss you. I know Brayden will wait. Can't wait to have you back. It's uh, We're doing Aaron's job, who does about five different things. Yeah. And we're without yeah. Aaron tonight. So, uh, Aaron, we miss you. We'll catch up with you next week, uh, hopefully, whether it's for Guthrie. Hopefully it's for Guthrie football. If not, we'll, we'll, we'll have to move on to uh, NFHS network coverage. But uh, hopefully we're covering Guthrie football. 
And uh, with that being said, this is probably our final broadcast uh, here on our YouTube feed. Right. After the semi, with the beginning of the semifinals and the championship game, all those rights are owned by the NFHS network. So our, uh, we might be on those calls. So we probably will be on those calls, but uh, it will not be with this feed. So uh, just get, kind of give everyone a heads up, and we'll kind of relay that message throughout the week. Yeah, you know, and, it's, and we're fortunate we get an opportunity to do that most years. And, Look forward to that. Like you said, we sure hope it's covering the Blue Jays yeah. against what looks to be Lott and MacArthur. Real quick, before we get cranked up, we'll go to the South Point Baptist Church, Church scoring update. Hop down to 2A. We got Metro Christian 14, Eufaula 35, Crossings Christian 28, Lindsay 6. Begs the fighting Ryan Cottings up 22-14 over Vian at half. Hey, Ryan Cottings uh, here tonight in, in McAllister. That's right. And Washington, number one ranked Washington, playing Jones. Washington big. 40 to 14, yeah, Washington. Yeah, yeah. Washington's the real deal. Rejoice Christian over Antlers, 48 to zero. And we'll give it. Uh, still works works on some more scores. I want a big uh, a big uh, hello to Buell Haynes watching the broadcast back in Guthrie, the Hall of Famer Buell Haynes. Appreciate that. Tara Drake watching back. She says, "How about those trainers? Good job, girls. Absolutely, yep. uh, they do a great job." And. Uh, Boy, they, Coach BB always praises them every opportunity yeah. he can. So They work hard. Yeah, appreciate those girls helping out those boys here in the 5A playoffs. And uh, all you great people out there, we appreciate you tuning us in tonight. Cody Knox taking us in. Donnie Clark taking us in. Max Johnson's watching all the way in Ada, Oklahoma. And uh, 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 CABT, Guthrie, Oklahoma, Custom Islands by Tim, is checking us out, uh, a loyal listener and viewer. We appreciate everybody checking us out tonight on the broadcast. So, of course, a big thank you to our cam operators, Mason Russell, Lance Evans, and Kel Evans. Braden Russell Production, Lonnie Phillips, Phil Nichols, Chris Evans, and, of course, Cheyenne back in our 93.7 FM radio yeah. studios. Yeah, doing a great job. They do a great job every week. We appreciate them. Back in South Point Baptist Church scoring update. We're going to look at some 4A scores. Number one, Tuttle taking on defending state champion Wagner. Right now, Tuttle up 13-0 at the half. Elk City beating Grove 24-7. Elk City traveling to Grove. Yeah. Four hours plus. Yeah. And, you know, I just want to point out, I picked them to upset Grove on Wednesday night, the high school huddle. The Fighting Elks. That's right. We got Bristow and Clinton battling right now. Clinton winning that one 16-7 at the half. Poto over Blanchard 24-7. Hop down and do some 3A scores real quick. Some 3A South Point Baptist Church scoring update on the 3A side. We got Berry Hill 13, Heritage Hall 35. That's at half. Plainview 13, Verdigris 30. It's a battle of three, four against nine. Lincoln Christian, number one ranked team in 3A, winning 21 to zero currently over Sulphur. Perkins Tryon, number seven ranked team. Right now trailing the number three ranked Holland Hall 14-0 at the half. Those are your scores. Got another class? Well, but pulling up A for some of our friends that are listening. We got some Cash and Wildcat folks. Oh, the defending state champions, yeah. Yeah, defending. Uh, my number one ranked team in oh, A, Ringling. Oh, oh, Ringling, yeah. Ringling, yeah. they're battling a little bit right now. 44 to 6 over Minko. Pahuska winning big, 43 8 over Colcord. Fairview and Tonkwa has got a great one going, 7 to 6 at half. Stroud Morrison, right now, Morrison's winning that one, 16 0. Gore beating Woodland 7-6. Cash and winning at halftime 28-6 over Hooker. Those are your scores from around the state of Oklahoma on the South Point Baptist Church scoreboard update. We hope you enjoyed the Golden Chick Halftime Show. Both teams are back on the field. We're a minute away from kicking off what promises to be an exciting second half. It's one of those we've been through so many playoff games, Phil. These closing minutes, these ups and downs, the ebb and foes of this ball game, you're feeling good, then you're feeling down, then you're like, oh, here we go. It's just that feeling of playoff football. Yeah, there's nothing like it. I mean, Friday Night Lights is the greatest, greatest sporting environment anybody can take in. Doesn't matter if you're in McAllister, Oklahoma, Guthrie, Oklahoma, Cash in Oklahoma, Hooker, Oklahoma. It's always fun on Friday nights, and it's a little more fun when it's playoff time, Chris. Absolutely. Blue Jays will receive the football. McAllister will be kicking left to right on the radio dial. 
Alcaster will be kicking from the 40-yard line. Blue Jays break huddle. Blue Jays will send back Jalen Shelf, jersey number 10. He's a junior, along with number two, DeAndre Jones, the senior for the Blue Jays. They'll line up in and around their 10-yard line. In front of them, Zach Henry, Landon Herzl, and Jackson Walters. McAllister set to kick this one off. Approaching the football, we're underway. Second half line drive kick. It will go into the end zone, about five, now seven yards deep. It'll be first and ten for the Guthrie Blue Jays. And one thing that's not talked a whole lot, McAllister had great field position the yeah. entire first half. Oh, Guthrie started back. most oh, of their drives the in their own territory, while McAllister started most of the drives Guthrie. in Guthrie yeah, territory. Yeah, that's like Ronnie. That was one of his keys to the second half is got to got to make McAllister put together some 70, 80-yard drives, start on their own end of the field. Blue Jays taking over first down and 10 from the 20 here. Expect to see a heavy dose of number 30, Isaiah Hammonds. Jalen Shelt, the receiver to the left. Two receivers to the right. That's Eaton in the slot. Jones, now Eaton goes into motion right to left. Calvert takes the snap. He'll roll to the right side. Carson rolling now. Calvert throws it on the run, and it's incomplete at the 35. And 10 a receiver for the Blue Jays was Ty Eaton. It'll bring up second down and 10 as Blue Jays trying to be unpredictable on first down. Yeah, I mean, that, that surprises me, but I think it's a good call. Come out and try to catch something early. And Officials might have missed the pass, uh, pass interference there. It looked like he got a little early there to me out here. I've officiated exactly zero games in my life. No, I've made many a call, never officiated a game. Second and 10, you can go back to the bread and butter play here with Isaiah. And it's gonna, oh, uh, excuse me, a reverse, and McAllister wasn't full on that as Ty Eaton is hit in the backfield. Guthrie with a little, little reverse, and the line though, happened to be in the right spot at the right time. Excuse me. Yeah, that's a, I'm not sure if that lineman read that. He just happened to be there. Yeah, I think he got great push. Yeah. Did a great job getting push, and this was in the right place at the right time. But a little surprised. Lost of the, 10. Yeah, lost of 10. And now we have an injured man. Buffalo. Yeah. yeah, looks like a cramp. Yeah, the Guthrie's field. starting off with a little trickery to start the second half. You surprised by that, Ronnie? I am. I, yeah. I mean, you've been you've been very successful on the ball on a stretch and on the inside, and you come out passing, and then you kind of try to trick him with a reverse. I think you just got to stick with, with what's got you to this point, and that's running the ball with Isaiah Hammonds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you got a guy down there that ran for 200 yards against two quality opponents in back to back weeks. And yeah. Now you're in a position where you're going to have to punt it, and they can have the ball again in yeah, Guthrie's territory. Absolutely. You know, bar something amazing here with some big third down down the field, or you know, it's uh, not going to do what we, you know they're going to do exactly what they did in the first half, give them great field position like Ronnie's talked about, and that's good news if you're a Buffalo's fan. Hope this young man's okay. Jackson Smith up and coming off under his own power. Looks like he's going to be okay. Yeah. Trainer gave the coach Maisie the nod. Yeah. <laughs> so he'll be good. Third and 20, not so good for the Blue Jays from their own 10 yard line. Well, you trying to run it here with Isaiah. Four or five yards. Are you trying to throw it for 10 yards and punt this one away? They will throw. Calvert back playing to his end zone. Goes downfield, the ball's loose, it's anybody's football, and it's batted down, almost intercepted as Guthrie wide receiver Jalen Shelf had to turn into a defensive back Starting to knock that defense. one down. And now Guthrie's going to punt the football away from Guthrie their own 10-yard line. There's three McAllister Buffaloes around the ball, and Jalen was out there on an island by himself. Went back, like you said, did a great job batting that ball down. Of course, if it's picked off there, you make a quick tackle, it's a punt. Either way, McAllister's looking to get the ball deep in Guthrie's end of the, of the field to start. Calvert at his goal line to receive the snap. The snap at the face mask. Fairly short punt. It will take a Guthrie bounce at the 30. Roll to the 35 and roll to the 38-yard line. In between the 30 and 39. So once again, McAllister with great field position. That's all of it at the Guthrie 38. First down and 10. Just putting these, this Guthrie Blue Jay football team in bad situations. I mean, they've, they've started on their side of the ball every drive. 
so far this night. And, you know, it seems like it was either golden goal post for the Blue Jays or giving up terrible field position either due to a turnover or. So here come the Buffaloes who have not had a lead in this ball game, but give themselves a great opportunity here in quarter number three. First and 10, 10.54 to play here in the third quarter. Minute six gone by. Trips receiver still left. Low snap, hand off to McCarty, up between the tackles, across the 35. He'll get to about the 33. Five solid yards there by McCarty. Kalsha comes out and does exactly what you expect him to do. Start feeding number five, McCarty again. He's proven he can gash it for big yards anytime he touches the football. Very explosive young running back. Outstanding football player. Buffalo's to the line of scrimmage. Trips, receivers to the left. Three receivers over there. Back to McCarty over left tackle. Breaks the tackle. Gets to the 30. Stop there. Two yards shy of the first down. Four so here comes a third down and two play. Next snap will be under 10 minutes to play in the third quarter. I think they're, they're obviously, I think in four down territory again yeah. down here. So, you know, Blue Jay defense is going to have to rise up again. See, Phoebe breaks some pressure right here. Oh, he's got to find the receiver, Prather. He's going to be on the near slot. McCarty on the left side of Boat Right, the quarterback in the shotgun. Boat Right will now move the line. Shift, they'll shift back to the right side. They'll hand it off to McCarty, and he'll lower his shoulder. And he needed two. Looks like he got three. Seven, and the counselor have a first down. Oh. Second down and seven. Number 17. This is a big drive right now for both club ball clubs. I mean, I think, you know, this is the kind of ball game, you know, the clock's ticking, running. You know, Blue Jays get a big stand here. Momentum switch, come out and get some points. But right now, they've got to figure out a way to stop number five. Certainly think he's going to get a healthy dose of it here in the second half. Yeah. He is the bread and butter. First and 10 for the Buffaloes at the Guthrie 27-yard line. P pass on the far side. It's caught. Broken tackle, 20, 15, 10. End zone, touchdown. 27-yard reception. Second passing touchdown of the night for the Buffaloes. Yeah, the Blue Jays had an opportunity. They had a guy where to make the play. Just flat missed the tackle. That's football. It happens. Bass, the receiver with the touchdown, and the Buffaloes have their first lead of the night. 20 to 14, trying to make it 21-14. Snap, kick, blocked. No good. Let's see if that plays a big factor later. Score with 855 playing quarter number three. McAllister 20, Guthrie 14. Timeout. This is Blue Jay football presented by FM Bank. Hayes Funeral Home is a proud supporter of the Guthrie Blue Jays from the first game all the way to the championship. Game. Be held by lifelong Blue Jay fans. Seth Robbins, Jason Herzl, and Dennis Oaks aren't limited to any single provider. We'll work with you to find the carrier and the plan that fits you best. Terrence Group is an independent insurance agency specializing in home, auto, and commercial lines of insurance. Call Terrence Group at 405-293-4880 or stop by at 622 South Division or visit them online at TIGOK.com. Terra Insure Group, insuring your world. Before you go off on that family vacation, be sure to obtain your Oklahoma Real ID license at the Guthrie Tag Agency. You'll need a Real ID or passport to fly domestically. Don't forget your vehicles, tags, titles, and renewals, and you gotta have that Pike Pass. Do you need to obtain your driver's license? Yes, the Guthrie Tag Agency does that and much more. Located at 2105 South Division Street, the Guthrie Tag Agency is open 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday Friday and 9 a.m. to noon on the first and last Saturday of the month. Call 405-282-3873. McAllister Buffaloes with their first lead of the night. 43-yard drive, just a few plays to get into the end zone. 27-yard screen pass to Bass. Made a Blue Jay defender miss out there on the island. That's all he needed to go into the end zone to get from 27 yards out. Your new score after the extra point was blocked. McAllister 20, Guthrie 14, 8.55 to play in quarter number three. Buffaloes approach the football. They kick this one deep, but returnable for the Jays. From the five-yard line, center field 10, 
15, that's DeAndre across the 20, 25, spins at the 30, to the 35, and still move the pile all the way to the 40-yard line. A 35-yard return for DeAndre Jones. Great job by DeAndre, the senior. Defensive back, wide out, return man, did a great job. Putting the Blue Jays in a great position to come out and go out and get some points on the board. Calm this game down a little bit. Let's get back to Blue Jay football. I got to tell you guys, uh, after that last off of the series, uh, special teams coach Tanner, I forget his last name, <laughs> yeah, pulled uh, Calvert off to the side and had a good talk with him. So we'll see if Calvert bounces back right here. First and 10 for the Blue Jays. Carson Wilder, half back on the left side. Hand off to Isaiah. He runs on the left side. He will get a couple of yards to the 43, a three yard pickup. It'll be third, or excuse me, we second down at seven. 8.33 and rolling line. here in second quarter number down. three. But that is right there, Blue Jay offense. Go out, pick up three, four, five. Go get it down, put yourself in third and three, third and two situation. Move the chains. That's Blue Jay offense. Jalen Harper in at wide receiver, in for DeAndre Jones, probably getting a breather, eating in the motion. They fake it to him, hand it off to Isaiah, breaks the tackle. He's at the 45, breaks another tackle at midfield, shifts it to the right side. He gets the McAllister 45-yard line, 12, now 13-yard run for Isaiah Hammond, the junior running back. Yeah, he's a good one, Chris. I tell you, he does a great job following his blocks, let that seam develop, and then, boy, he turns it on and hits it. Outstanding job by Isaiah. Moving the chains for the Blue Jays. We'll see if we can get that play here in a second. First and 10 for the Blue Jays. Calvert, screen pass caught by Eaton, and he'll get down at the 42-yard line. A two-yard pickup there. Pick Not much the on the play, but we'll take a look at that great Isaiah yep, run there for as he picks up 12 yards, 13 nine. yards. Yeah, great job, I tell you, right there. I mean, he just runs so hard. We've talked about it all year. He's always falling forward. Excellent job. Second down and nine for the Jays. Hand off to Isaiah. Hit. And he's going to be hit for a loss back in the infield. In the backfield. All the way back at the 46 yard line. Loss of three. It's going to be third down and 12 down for the Blue Jays. Yep. Just shot the gap. Did a great job. That was an excellent job by the Buffaloes. Eaton, Shelf, and Harper remained in there at wide receivers. Guthrie kind of a third down play here. Third and 12. They need the Buffalo. 34-yard line. Calvert gets the snap. Looking. Goes to the far side. Looking for Wilder. It's incomplete. It's now fourth and 12. From the 46, Guthrie's going to have to this one away and play field position. Yeah, we're going to try to pin him down here, see what they can do. Flip the field. Got to find McCarty, Phil. You better find him. <laughs> He's blocked many a punt this season. He's creeping up in the middle of the formation. Well, and one thing that's always concerned me a little bit, of course, our, our punter is our quarterback. He's a rugby kicker, but sometimes he holds that ball a little long. It's a good snap. Here comes McCarty. Calvert gets away. He knew he was coming. It takes a little bit of a Blue Jay bounce. It goes across the 15, across the 10, and still rolling. Now be down and around the seven-yard line. So by far the worst field position of the entire night for McAllister. Now you got to come out. You got to count for 11. You got to make great. You got to be sure tacklers out on the football field. Let those running backs go be an athletic. Get some pressure up the front. Play Blue Jay defense. Force McAllister to kick the ball deep in their end. Get good field position, go down and get some points. That's easy, right? That sounds really easy. Yeah, yeah. that's simple. Nothing to it. Yep. So it's marked at the seven, first and ten. Boatwright, the senior quarterback. He wears jersey number eight. McCarty not in on this play. Probably getting a little bit of a breather, so they'll go to the backup running back. See if he gets a snap here. First down and 10, they'll throw it. They'll come to the near side, caught by Bass behind the line of scrimmage. He get out across the 10, tackled by Cole, or excuse me, that's not what he He's tackled at the He's 13. Out past the 10, mark it at the 13. About a six yard pickup. Second down, Buffaloes. Blue Jay defense is, they've risen to every occasion every year, every game this year, done a great job. Cell phone, if anyone has found it, please take it up here. Say, these kind of games, you know, when you got two teams so evenly matched, just going at it. Man, how tired are these kids? You know, and what you do notice, the, the Buffalo play a lot of kids both ways. Braden Chaney on the tackle for Guthrie. McCarty back in, gets the handoff, breaks the tackle, 20, side steps out, 25, 30, near side, 35, 40, and brought down 
by Eric McCourty. 27 yard run for Eric McCourty. You know, right now, it's any of the Buffaloes are just exerting their will. Just a great hole opened up. McCarty, being the athletic kid he is, makes one kid miss there. Heads up the sidelines. Jacob Varnell, wasn't for the fact that he can flat motor at a linebacker position, McCarty's gone. Great job by Jacob not to give up on the play. Ball marked at the 40 on the near hash mark. McCarty out for a rest. Back up running back will run. He'll get hit. Gavin Sealanders will get the tackle. Gavin was the North Church player of the game in that Western Heights contest. He gets a tackle for a loss. It's a loss of one back to the 39. Second down 11, 540 to play in the third quarter. McAllister 20, Guthrie 14. Got to remember that miss extra point. You know, in ball games like this, those are, that's always a factor. I think, if you're, I think if you're the Buffaloes, I think you just keep running the yep, ball. I agree. I mean, until the Blue Jays can show the ability to stop it. McCarty back in the Buffalo huddle. They approach the football with 10 seconds on the play clock. Two receivers to the left, a second down and 11. Tied in on the right. Boat rope, th boat rope throws, caught at the 40, to the 45, down at the 46. It will be four yards shy of the first down. So it'll be third down and four. Buffalo's first needing the midfield strike. Third down and four here. At the 40. You gotta believe. Now they're having some success getting line. that ball out into the flats, down, letting those big wide receivers go make plays. We'll see if they go to number five here, McCarty, the Mr. Everything. They're in that place where everything in their playbook's in play. See if the Blue Jay defense can rise up again. 11 seconds on the play clock. Third down and four, and McAllister has to spin a timeout. 428 left to play in third quarter. McAllister 20, got 314. Timeout. This is Blue Jay football presented by FM Bank. There's one big difference between Vance Auto Group and the other dealers transparency. We show all the discounts and rebates on our website long before you arrive. See your monthly payment, your current vehicle's value, Carfax, and everything about the vehicle you're interested in buying. You can even buy any vehicle, new or pre-owned, without leaving home, right from our website. Buy with transparency at the John Vance Auto Group. John Vance Auto Group. Interbank wishes all the Guthrie Blue Jays student athletes a great season and will be cheering the whole way. Interbank is proud to be a part of the tremendous momentum in Guthrie with the growing success of our schools and city. Interbank continues the winning tradition of taking care of their customers with personal and business banking. Located just blocks from The Rock at 224 East Oklahoma or by phone at 405-282-0470. Interbank, in it for you. Member FDIC. McAllister spins a timeout. They're not afraid to use those timeouts. No. Reminds me of my good friend Casey Porter back home. They gave you 12, he'd use 12. Yeah, absolutely he would. Why waste them, Chris? Oh. McAllister didn't want to take a chance there. Third down and four from the 46. They need the white line of the midfield for the first down. Boat right. No, it's McCarty in the Wildcat. Runs left side, big hole. 45, 40, 35, 30, near big side, old. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Buffaloes. McCarty, second running touchdown of the night this time from 54 yards. McCarty is a great running back. We've talked about how explosive he is. We've seen it all night. The kid does everything for the hey, Buffaloes. bring in the thunder. Blue Jays are going to have to respond on this next drive, or this one's going to get out of hand, Chris. Jays down 12. We'll see if, if McAllister will go for two. Looks like they will have the kicking team on the field to try to make this a... 13 point ball game. Remember that drive started at the seven yard line. Yep. Kick up and it is good. Buffalo's increased their lead. 27 14, 416 to play in quarter number three. Time out for McAllister. This is Guthrie Blue Jay Football presented by FM Bank. When garage door problems occur, don't call a kind of service company or maybe a repair guy. Call Paul Creed at A-Team Overhead Door. Paul owns and operates his company and has over 15 years of experience in residential and commercial overhead door service. Paul provides all garage door services from repairs to installations. With free estimates, Paul will work with you to decide the best possible solution for your garage door. 
door or opener problems. Call A Team Overhead Door today, 405 642 7065. Ace Tree Service is a proud member of the Guthrie Chamber of Commerce and a huge supporter of Guthrie Public Schools. Cody and Kathy Hayes are available 24-7 for emergency tree work when Mother Nature hits. Hayes has the experience and equipment needed for tree trimming, removal, and stump grinding. Fully insured, Hayes is the company that other tree guys call for help. For a free estimate, call 405-535-6560 or find them on Facebook. Go Blue Jays! Big thank, a big thank you to all of our great sponsors up and down the list this entire season. They allow us to come to games like this on the road over two hours away. Guthrie down 13 points, 27-14. Buffaloes to kick this one off. This one's a deep kick. DeAndre Jones watches it bounce up to three, and he has to pick it up at the one. Here's the return, 10, 15, 20 to the outside, still on his feet. He's across the 30. And he's going to be finally driven out of bounds across the 40, out near the 44-yard line. Guthrie needed that return. DeAndre, as well as I thought, was about to bounce into the end zone. Yeah. Did not. Had to pick it up at the one and returns it for about 40-plus 40, 40 yards. Yeah, if you're Blue Jays, you've got great field position. Got, I feel like you got to go get points on this drive. This is the flow of the game, the feel of the game right now. I know there's 407 left in the third quarter. I get that. But it feels like we need to get some points on this drive. First and ten, three receiver set. Wilder, the halfback on the left side, handoff to Isaiah, and he's hit for a loss. And it's going to be second down and ten. And McAllister is settling out to stop the run because Guthrie has been unable to throw the ball to keep him off balance. One hundred percent, right now we just haven't been able to get anything going in the passing game tonight. Like you said, they're selling out, just keying on number 30, going to go do everything they can to shut Isaiah down. And they're doing it so far in the second half. So Blue Jays are going to have to show the ability to get somebody else involved in the offensive side of the game or this will get out of hand. Very similar to what Carl Arvin was able to do to shut down the running game and make Guthrie have to throw the ball as they try here. And now the pass is going to be rolled incomplete. That's probably a good thing. Yeah, the, Hammond's cut the ball, he was out of bounds, so it's incomplete. Cavern had pressure the entire time in the backfield. Did a good job just being able to get rid of it. And now it's just like that, third down and 10. Yeah, I mean, it's a big, it's a big play right here. Blue Jays, I'm telling you, all the momentum is on the home side of the field with the Buffaloes right now. Along with a 13-point lead, 328 left in quarter number three. Balls up to Guthrie, 44. They need the McAllister, 46. For a first down, Calvert in the gun, play action, has all day, throws it, and it's going to be intercepted, intercepted at the 42-yard line. The pass was too tall for the intended receiver. McAllister with another turnover. Just flat, the ball was just a little high, just overthrown a little it's bit. McAllister made the defensive back, made a good play on the ball. First down, Buffalo. Shelf was the intended receiver, too tall for him. Second interception of the night. Buffaloes will have the football at their own 42-yard line, up 27-14. Buffalo smelling blood here, Phil. Yeah, no doubt about it. Blue Jays don't get a stop here. This thing's going to get out of hand. McCarty in at running back right now on the right side of Boatwright, the senior quarterback. I'll hand it off to him. It's a little reverse. They're going to come to the near side. Boatwright leading the way at the 42, 45, and driven out of bounds by DeAndre That's Jones. He actually went 45, out of bounds at the 46. So just a four-yard pickup. Line. Second down and six. 309 left in the third quarter. Second down, six, McAllister. You know, this kind of game. You got to answer in the playoffs. I mean, you, you can't you can't go two, three offensive series and do nothing with it and expect to win the ball game. So this we got to flip the switch quick here. Like I said, or this could get out of hand. Four receivers. McCarty on the left side of boat right. Shotgun snap and off McCarty between the tackles. Tripped up. Nice shot there by Landon Herzl yeah. with the tackle. 
It's going to get at the line of scrimmage. So third down and six. And do note, as we go into three minutes of play in the third quarter, Guthrie was down several, uh, two scores in the fourth quarter against Bishop McGinnis, able to come back. Now, doing it in the playoffs is another thing, but yeah. it has been done before, so I wouldn't turn it off quite yet. Oh, no, I wouldn't turn it off. These Blue Jays have proven all year that they're going to fight till the bitter end every time, every snap matters. You know, and a great play there by Landon. He's been playing great all year and has really had a great junior campaign. Big third down play right here. See if Guthrie can make a big defensive play. They had a lot early on. We'll see if they have it here in the third quarter. Bowright, play action. He'll run with it, and he'll dive. It will be shy of the first down by two yards. Tackle at midfield. Herzl needed the 48, so it's be fourth down and two. So we'll see how aggressive Coach Mazie is. Well, you know, he might be sitting there going, guys, if we if we move the chains here, and we go down and put a foot on their throat, you know, I, I guarantee he's thinking it. This 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 coaching staff's an aggressive coaching yeah, they staff. Are. There's they no are. doubt about it. Looks like he's going to trot them out, but that doesn't mean anything with this crew. Probably the safe round if you're Coach Maisie. We're up 13 points yep. at home. Our defense is playing really, really good. Let's pin them down. They've had a hard time talking about Guthrie having a hard time going downfield. Let's see if we can get a stop. Jalen Harper back deep at the 20-yard line. It's a snap, and they're going to try to run it. for it. It's a fake, and will not get there. One yard shy of the first down. They needed the 48, driven out of bounds at the 49. And we have that replay, Braden. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Replay. Second one, what was it? I think it was Jackson. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be on the wrong. Yeah, on the wrong play. Mark that, mark that down, boys. That's going to be a big play in this game. The Blue Jays going to come back. Ronnie, who had that? Was that Jackson, or did you have who Jackson had that? just missed it. I, I didn't see who it was. Sorry. Okay. It was on that far side in front of the bench, hard to tell. Hand off to Isaiah on first down and 10. Contact, he got hit hard for a one-yard pickup. And again, yes, there's been interceptions. Yes, the passes have not been there tonight. Receivers aren't getting open, but that has to change. Guthrie's going to have to throw the football to have a chance. He's going to have to. I mean, they're just keying up, just laying out for number 30. Isaiah just doing everything they can to stop him, and they've been able to do that in the second half. Second down and nine. Empty backfield, Calvert. Three receivers to the left, two receivers to the right. Now Hammond's in motion. They hand it off there as that shell. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a loss on the play. Guthrie just trying to find some type of identity offensively. If we tackle back at the 48, about a one yard, maybe a two yard loss. Under this play here in the third quarter, time. Guthrie's going to have a third down 11 play upcoming. Yeah, just not giving them right now. McAllister's getting all the push up front. Like you said, Guth Guthrie's lost their identity offensively right now. Just don't know what to do. Got to get something going in the passing game. They're going to have to start converting some passes to have any chance to get back in this game. 11 seconds on the play clock. Third down on 11. Guthrie needs the 41. Calvert, pressure, screen. Caught by Wilder, 45 near side, 40. First down, cuts it to the 35. Fumbles, gets it back at the 30, and tackled at the 23-yard line. Exactly what the Blue Jays needed there, Phil. Well, I'll tell you, that was a big-time catch by Wilder. He does it every game. Seems like he makes some big play. You know, fumbles the ball a little bit. Going to get down here. He's going to bobble it again, I believe. There it goes, bobble it again, keeps it again. He caught that ball three times on that play, Chris. <laughs> Ten seconds. Nine seconds left on the third quarter. Three receivers set. Guthrie does not have to take the snap. They do. Calvert on first and ten. Going down, filling for Wilder incomplete. And Eight tenths of a second left incomplete. here in the quarter. The Trying to find Carson down the middle. You know, Blue Jays. And, and, and even, Blue even Jays. something like that little screen back over to Carson on the side. Now look at it. Now they've got to honor that. They've got to pay attention to it. Of course, Jason came right, come right back. Throw down the middle. Setting some things up. Look for number 30 to start getting the ball. They can make it have a couple, just a little bit of success in the passing game. You'll see 30 get fed. Second down and 10 from the 22. Isaiah up the middle across the 20 to the 19. The pile still being moved up to the 18 yard line. Four yard pickup. And that's the end of quarter number three. McAllister opens up a little bit. They'll take a 13 point lead into the fourth quarter, 27 14. We'll come back. Blue Jay football, third down and six. Blue Jay Football presented by FM Bank. 
Texan was founded by two combat proven veterans to help businesses grow from mediocre to exceptional. We know from experience that your culture and trust throughout the organization drive superior performance. Most business owners focus on the urgent rather than the important. They are just struggling to survive. The team at Exxon helps owners identify challenges, build solutions, and focus on growth. Do you trust your team? Does your team trust you? If not, we can help. We are Exxon. I got the pickles. Order up on the Sonic cheeseburger. You got cheesecake and you got ice cream. So when you put the two of those together, does that does that make it one thing? I'm not even listening to you right I now. Know. Sonic cheesecake glass. I'm really having an experience here. This is <laughs> Sonic at I-35 at Highway 33. We're set for fourth quarter action. The 10-1 Blue Jays taking on the 11-0 McAllister Buffaloes. Along with Ronnie Phillips, Phil Nichols, I'm Chris Evans. Thanks for tuning us in here tonight, 93.7 FM and worldwide on Guthrie News page. Third down and six for the Blue Jays, Phil. It comes up to McAllister 18-yard line. Four down territory, no doubt. No doubt. Calvert gets the snap. Option play near side. Option off to Isaiah. And he'll be hit, tackled, maybe one yard at most. If down not anything, it'll be a fourth down Russell, play. Do you know Guthrie Trail Bishop again is 28 to 13 with 10 minutes fourth and 39 seconds left for the Blue Jays. in the fourth quarter. Guthrie would not score until the 531 mark. So Guthrie's been there and done that before. Oh, yeah. This time the season on the line. Here we go. Fourth and five from the 17. Guthrie needs the 12. Hand is on the left side of Calvert. Calvert to throw. Has time, dumps it off the eat, it hit the turf. Incomplete. And the pass is incomplete. Great call by the official. It bounced up the tie, never had a chance to bring it in. Guthrie turns it over on downs. The counts for football at the 17. Yeah, we're at the area in the game now where Blue Jays are gonna have to start trying to force some turnovers. Not they haven't been trying all night, but they're gonna have to start going for that football, trying to manufacture something. So far in the second half, Blue Jay offense has just been yeah. shut down. A few plays here and there, but really a lot of negative plays as far as yardage is concerned. Yeah, no doubt. It's just, you know, just hasn't felt right the whole second half. First and 10 for the Buffaloes. You know they want to take some time off the clock here. And boy, you just feel, well, no, I know. Guthrie has to be the next team to score. Yep. But right in the gun, he'll throw. Now he'll run on a draw play. He'll running on the right side. He'll get across the 20 and around the 21 yard line. Pick up a four. Second down six. Buffalo's starting to use the clock here. 21. Second down, Buffalo's. And Guthrie scored two late scores in the fourth quarter to come back and force overtime against Bishop McGinnis. They have the same type performance here. Luckily for them, right now. They have more time than that 539. Got to get to work, though. Got to get to work. Got to get the offense the ball back. Guthrie had two pick sixes last week. Boy, a scoop and score, a pick six would <laughs> come mighty handy now for this Blue Jay team. McCarty, one of the best in the state, runs up the middle. Not much there. Good job there. Delonte Glover, Varnell in on the tackle. Landon Herzl there first. McCarty in behind. I mean, they're going to take their time. They're going to run every second they can off the ball, off the clock. Big third down play here for the Blue Jays. They've got to get a stop here and get the Buffaloes off the field. If they have any chance to get back in this game. Ball's at the 23. It's going to be third down and four. As the Buffaloes break huddle. Third and four. Show power on the left side of the line of scrimmage, the short side of the field. They run on the short side with the McCarty. Nothing there. Great defensive penetration there by the Blue Jay defense. There first again. McCarty slow now to get up. At the nice sportsmanship there by Spade Pool. Cheney helps him up. Great group of kids, Blue Jays. I mean, really just good sportsmen, do a great job. Fourth and three, punting time for the McAllister Buffaloes. Now do note, they've Faked it twice tonight. They're one for two. <laughs> yeah, they're not afraid to tuck it and go. Bass is their punter. He's one of their talented receivers. In fact, he had a 
27-yard touchdown reception earlier in this ball game. He's at his own 15-yard line. Now they put two guys back there to show two punters. It goes to Bass, and he punts it away. It's a good punt. Jalen Harper will let it bounce. You know, be picked up somewhere around the 45. It'll be the 43-yard line. So, 8.59 to play in quarter number four. Guthrie down 27-14. Offense has the ball back. Yeah, we, we've got to score, Chris. I mean, if we, if we don't put seven points on the board here, I think it's, I mean, it's going to be very, very tough, bar a, a freak turnover or something like that happening. But Blue Jays got to go down the field and score if they want to get back in this ball game. Ball's officially marked at the 42. First down to tip. Four receiver set. Calvert to throw. Looks far side, throws far side at the first down marker. And is it caught by Harper? It is at oh, midfield. Caught, yeah. Pick up of eight yards for Jalen Harper, his first reception of the night. Just got to get a little confidence Buffalo there. 49 yard line. Move those chains. Pick up what, nine, Chris? Picked up eight. Second eight. And one. Well, yeah, we'll go nine. Okay. We'll go nine. We'll go yeah. nine. Second down to one. Now he can run it here. High in the motion, they fake it to him, hand it off to Isaiah up the middle, first down, and a little bit more as he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Pick up a four. Clock stops with 8.47 to play in the ball game. First and 10, Jays. One thing I will guarantee you, the Blue Jays will not quit. These kids battled all year, and they'll battle to the end in this ball game. Just got to go get some points on this drive. Absolutely have to score here. Eating in the motion, Calvert to throw. Wants it all, goes downfield, and it's incomplete. Never had a chance. That ball thrown out of bounds. Jalen Harper, the intended receiver. Second down. Second down and 10, 828 left in the ball game. Take a shot downfield, come back, try to get six, seven, eight yards. Put yourself in good position on third down. Knowing you have four downs to get a first down. Absolutely. Trips receivers to the right of the formation. Ball's on the far hash mark. From the 45, Calvert rolling to his right, throws it. It's caught at the 35, and with that spot, it will be a first down. Nice reception there by Jalen Shell. Guthrie completes the blast out to the, or down to the 35-yard line. Guthrie quickly first to the line of scrimmage. Now the clock shouldn't be running, should it? After the chains are set. They weren't set. <laughs> First and 10, Guthrie from the 35. Calvert runs it up the middle, gets to the 30, down to the 25, 10-yard run for Hayden Calvert, his longest run of the Hayden night. Calvert Clock stops, eight. supposed to be stopping. Down to the I think they're just short just of the first down. Nine and a half yard run there by Hayden Calvert. Second down one, 7.44, 7.43. The play in the ball game. Four receivers, hand off to Isaiah at the middle. Nothing. Second effort will get him the first down at the 25. That was a great second effort by Isaiah. That was the ball carrier. Clock does stop this time. He'll get inside the 25-yard line for a first down, Guthrie. Yeah, second effort, Phil, was there. Yeah. First and 10, little dump off pass to Isaiah Cotton. Breaks the tackle, 20, 15, 10, 5, into the end zone. Touchdown, Isaiah and Heavens touchdown from 25 yards out. Don't go three. asleep yet on the Blue Jays. Hang on, hang on. Blue Jays down right now, 27, 20. 7, 15 left in the game. Extra point, that mixed extra point early in the evening could come into play here, obviously. A lot of, lot of, lot of work to do defensively if you're the Blue Jays based on what we've seen in the second half. Got to get this extra point. Defend the kick, play great defense, put yourself in a situation to win. Ezak off for the PAT. Try to pull the Jays within six. Calvert's the holder. Snap, high snap. Calvert gets it down and kick. Plenty long enough, and it's good. Jays within six, 27-21. 7.15 left in the ball game. Timeout from McAllister. This is Guthrie Blue Jay Football presented by FNF Bank. At South Point Baptist Church, we want you to cheer loud and be proud as we send the Blue Jays to victory. Afterwards, join us each Sunday in our friendly family atmosphere. South Point invites you, your family, and friends to join us each week with Sunday school beginning at 10 a.m. and our morning service at 11 a.m. South Point wishes all students this season to make fun and exciting memories, not only on the playing field, but in the classroom as well. And as always, go Blue Jays. 
Sometimes you need immediate care and can't get in to see your doctor during regular hours. With Mercy Convenient Care in Guthrie, you can walk in without an appointment and get the medical attention you need at a lower cost and with shorter waiting time than your local emergency room. The Mercy Convenient Care is located at 2919 South Division. For any concerns, call 405-282-6301. Services are provided by Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Choose Guthrie. Choose Mercy. As the great poet Phil Nichols said, all teams are good in the playoffs this time of year. A lot of wisdom. <laughs> a lot of wisdom. Guthrie, Isaiah Hammonds. We'll go ahead and take a look right in at that Isaiah Hammonds touchdown run for our video audience. And a perfect play drawn up. Isaiah broke one tackle. End zone after that. Isaiah Hammonds from 27 yards out. Or excuse me, from 25 yards out. That is your John Vance Motor scoring summary. Number five back deep to receive. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish he'd just take a break once in a while. Yeah. Blue Jays approach the football. Line drive kicked on the turf. Picked up. 25 to the near side. 30. 35. DeAndre Jones with the tackle. And the McAllister yeah, Buffaloes will have the football. Seven minutes and eight seconds left he in the ball game, leading the Blue Jays 27-21. The Jays defense, I mean, we put it on their backs all year. They're going to have to do it again tonight. Yeah, we talked about driving up. This is a lot of these games are the ones going to be who gets the ball last. Yeah. yeah. Who makes that mistake at the critical time? Who can convert that fourth down and short at yep. the critical time? That's exactly what we thought it would be. McAllister has not been in a situation in a six point ball game in the fourth quarter. Guthrie's been there a few times. Overtime victory over Bishop McGinnis. Carl Albert with the winner, the only loss suffered by Guthrie when they score with four seconds left. McCarty will get the first down carry, and he's going to be hit for a loss. Spade Poole, Chaputis, and Sealanders was back there, but Poole will get the tackle for a loss. So actually might get back to the line of scrimmage, second down and 10. Yeah, I tell you, Spade's done it for three years, three-year starter at the linebacker position. Great job there. You talked about big Chaputis up front, Sealanders, Nico, got Herzl. This defensive front showed up big every game all year. We'll see if they can do it again. Second down and 10 from the 35. McCarty on the right side of the boat, right in the gun. They'll go to McCarty on the near side, nothing there, so he's going to kick it out. And not much, not much. Back to the line of scrimmage. Might give him a yard at most. Spade pull on the bottom of the pile again. Nico Pena in there as well. Chaputis in the area, third down and nine, six, 13 and rolling <laughs> in the fourth quarter. Got another one on our hands, don't we? McAllister kind of oh, yeah. uh, less aggressive, you will. Of course, you're handed off McCarty. That's pretty aggressive enough, well, but boy, you can get a stop here as we now midway point of the fourth quarter. Well, this is huge. You got to get a stop here on this third down and long. Everything's in their playbook. They've shown the ability to go downfield anytime they want. McCarty in the Wildcat with two halfbacks in front of him. He hasn't thrown it from here. He'll run. Nothing there. Breaks a tackle at the 40. Push backwards. Shy of the Doesn't first down by five yards. Fourth down and punting time for the Buffaloes. Let's make sure they do. You know, this is staff, they, they are. They're an aggressive staff. And and so, it, which is, you know, can work to your advantage. It can also work to your disadvantage. But you never know what they're going to do. I think they punted here, obviously. But you never know what they do. Ronnie, what's that? The Guthrie fans are getting really loud out here now. Fourth and four. Snap. They do punt it away. It's a great punt. Great punt. Harper at the 23. Return 25-30. And pushed out of bounds at the 35-yard line. The sophomore with the return. And so Guthrie will have the opportunity here with five minutes and two seconds left. Trailing 27-21. Here we go. Here we go again. I mean, everything's, I mean, we've got great field position, starting at 35. You got two crowds that are on their feet. You got two teams that are so equally matched, it's crazy. This is what it's all about right here. Jeffries won six in a row. McAllister has won 11 in a row. First and 10 Blue Jays from the 35 yard line. Hammond's on the right side of Calvert. They'll run with him on the stretch play. And Isaiah still running at the 40, still moving his feet, and he'll be down 
in around the 42, maybe the 43 yard line. A healthy dose of yards on down number one. It's a seven officially, so second down and three, 443, 442. Yeah, sweet little four minute and 35 second scoring drive. It'd be nice right about now. Guthrie has all timeouts. Calvert will run with it up the middle. He'll dive to the 45. He'll have the first down by a yard. Needed three, got four. Needed exactly what he needed, and he knew that. Yep, great job by Calvert. Talked about it all year. Situationally, he can help you with his feet. Yards have been tough to get through the air tonight. First and 10, Guthrie from their own 45-yard line. Calvert to throw on first down, goes to the far side, caught at midfield. Driven out of bounds. Pass no, the pass is going to be incomplete. Ruled incomplete. Nearly a turnover. Yep. But maybe he maybe took it away from the Blue Jay receiver, Harper. We're Over seeing there. more Jalen Harper right at wide receiver as DeAndre Jones getting some rest offensively. Yeah, we needed him on defense. Second down and 10. Still 22 seconds on the play clock. Plenty of time here. Three receivers to the right. Calvert takes the snap. Takes it out of the belly of Isaiah. He'll run on the near side. Gets into McAllister territory down at the 48. Three yards shy of the first down. So it'll be third down and three. Guthrie knees the McAllister 45 for a fresh set of downs. Well, I can tell you right now, Isaiah Hammond's touching the ball. If I'm the coach, I'm going to put it in 30's hands and let him go make a play. Guthrie to the line of scrimmage quickly. Now they look at the sideline. Still 20 seconds on the play clock. Plenty of time here with three receivers. Calvert relaying the message to his offensive line. Hammond's on his right side. Third and three. Snap. Hand off Isaiah between the tackles. Lowers the shoulder. Going to be just shy of the 45. Going to be a half a yard shy. So here we go. Fourth, less than a yard. It's exactly a half a yard. and one half yard to go. Comes yeah. another package. Yep. Here comes Jacob Barnell. Here comes Jacob Varnell. Will he get the ball or will he lead block for Isaiah Hammonds? Half diamond formation. Fourth and less than a yard. Shotgun snap. Whistles. Timeout. McAllister. 257 left in the ball game. Guthrie 27. McAllister 21. You know what? I don't want to chance it. <laughs> I was going to say, don't do it. We're don't gonna, do it. We're, we're going to keep it here. I don't want to miss a down here. I know this officiating crew has made a good adjustment to getting our media timeout, but no. uh, can't take any chances here. Less than three minutes left. Yeah. Set the scene for you here. It'll be fourth down and less than a yard at the 46. Guthrie needs the white line. They need the white line of the 45. If it's spot on the white line, it's a first down. 2.57 left in the ball game. McAllister 27, Guthrie 21. Both teams back onto the field. Varnell, Hammonds, Calvert will be in the backfield. Every fan in the stands on their feet for both sides. Calvert gives Hammonds some knuckles. Oh, it's mis misguided play. Calvert thought he Hammonds it. was on one side. It. Second effort. What? With that spot, it will be a first down. It, the play was botched. Calvert and Hammonds were confused. Calvert had to take off. And Guthrie has a first down. Do we have that replay? Let's take a look at what happened there. What a great effort by Calvin right there. You'll see it right here. Yeah, he got there. He what? got there. Right on that line. He just looked at the replay. He barely he got there. First down and 10. Calvert slips and falls. Two-yard loss. Quarterback slips to his knee. Second down. Back to the 48. Second down. 12. Simply fell down. Yep. Two seventeen left in the ball game. And rolling. Guthrie needs a touchdown and an extra point to win it. Three receivers. From the McAllister 48-yard line. Coward to throw. Center of the field has a receiver. I saw contact, wow. but no flags. We got that replay, Braden? Wow. Third down, 12. Well, there's no doubt there's contact on that. 
Third down and 13. Guthrie needs the 35-yard line. They got two plays to do it. Clock stop right now with 2.01 left in the ball game. 27-21, McAllister. McAllister didn't have the first lead until the second half. Three receiver set. Calvert rolling. Throws it on the run. It's caught and then dropped. A big hit. Big time hit. Jarred the ball loose. Eaton had it. But then it falls to the turn. Fourth down, 13. Comes down to this. This is the ball game right here. Fourth down and long for the Jays. They don't convert. That's a good play, good catch, good throw. Yep. Just a good defensive play. Great defensive play. Excellent job by the Buffaloes. They're just battling down there. These kids are just going back and forth. Minute 55 left of the game. Guthrie needs the 35. Fourth down and 13. Guthrie does have all three timeouts. Calvert gets the snap. Sets his feet. Goes downfield looking for Shell. And it is caught. It is caught at the 20 yard line. Oh, they're going to run it incomplete. A late ruling. A late ruling. Wow. He, he dropped it at the very end as he was coming down. Wow. He dropped it. He had it the entire time. Dropped it at the very end. Guthrie turns it over on down. Did we get that replay, Chris? It is. Great pass downfield. Shelf's wide open. He catches it down. Couldn't really tell on that play, but it looks like he was bobbling the ball on the way down. Great coverage by the Buffalo defender. Yeah, that ball that was right in front of me, guys. He had the yeah. ball. As he went down, he lost it. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's hey, that, you know what? That's that great effort. Great effort. Minute 47. Guthrie's got three timeouts. Just kind of wish he would have went after the ball after he dropped it to make it look like he fumbled. Guthrie's got to use their timeouts on these runs here. He got to stop it here. Wildcat with McCarty, midfield. Guthrie territory 49. That's about five yards. Guthrie has spent a timeout. Not yet. Will not use the timeout here on first down. McAllister can take this all the way down to a minute yeah. before snap of the football. Oh, man. Minute 15. Minute 13. Well, he better get a big stop here. Yeah. Second down, seven from the 49 of Guthrie. Wildcat McCarty runs, lowers his shoulder, stays on his feet, gets to the 45. The mark him at the 44. Six yard pickup. Guthrie spends a timeout. Third down and one. We'll take a timeout. 57 seconds left. This is Guthrie Blue Jay Football presented by FNM Bank. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. We'll keep it here with 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guthrie down 27-21. Guthrie has two timeouts, and probably rightfully so, not calling that on first down, because if McAllister doesn't get it on third down, you can call a timeout. You know they're going to go for it on fourth down, yeah. and you can call another, well. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, if we get it back, it's going to be with very little time on yeah. the clock. That's Great ball game. Yeah. Great ball game. A lot of time went off, about 30 seconds. Yep. Stay tuned. Karen Sugar post game show following the ball game. Third down and two. McAllister get a first down. It's over. The ball will go to Eric McCarty. He's going to line up in the Wildcat with two halfbacks and offensive line to push him for two yards. There's a snap. They'll run up the miss okay. down and more as the Buffaloes appear they have sealed the deal with the first down. Guthrie can stop it two more times with 52 seconds. You know, this ball game, it's lived up to what everybody hoped for. Yep. It's been a great football game, well-played football game, a clean-played football game. It's been an outstanding high school ball game, no doubt about it. 44 seconds left. Guthrie spins the timeout. They can stop it one more time. Probably with maybe 40 seconds, and then McAllister can take a knee. 
and get out of here. It's just elementary Guthrie hoping for a missed snap or a fumble of some sort as McAllister appears. will be headed to 12-0 to the state semifinals. It looks to be McAllister and Lawton MacArthur in one state semifinal. The other, other half looks like Carl Everett's having a good time tonight. We'll yep. get those scores here in just a second. Brought yep. to you by our good friends over at South Point Baptist Church. Yeah, South Point Baptist Church scoring update. Uh, Carl Albert, it's a final, 14-7 over Coweta. Collinsville pulled away from Bishop McGinnis, 42-28. MacArthur, who How will be... How much time's left in that Collinsville game? Uh, Collinsville says 12 minutes, but I'm sure it's not quite that much. People probably stopped uh, reporting the score. First and 10, Boatwright takes a knee. And McAllister's not to spend one more snap. Guthrie spends the timeout. 39 and a half seconds. So one more snap will win this one. Stay tuned. Terror and Sugar Group post game show. 39.5 seconds left. So it's elementary here. Just yeah. take a snap and now we'll end the ball game. That's yeah, a ball game. So McAllister, Lot MacArthur, one state semifinal. Yep. It appears it'll be Carl Everett and Collinsville, the other state semifinal. Yep. Both teams, all four teams in the semifinals were district champions. Yep, yep. Worked out the way it's supposed to, as they would say. What a great ball game, though. Tonight. It really was. Yeah, great really football was. game. Had a little bit of everything. You know, it's just a just a fabulous ball game. One more snap here, and it should end it. And there's the snap. That and that should be the ball game. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, McAllister will not have to take another snap. And the McAllister yep. Buffaloes take down the Blue Jays by a final score, 27-21 as the Buffaloes move on to the state semifinals with that 12-0 record. Guthrie ends their season at 10-2. Great year for the Blue Jays. Didn't end the way you wanted it to, but what a fabulous ball game. Great year. Great job by the coaching staff. Congratulations to the McAllister Buffaloes. They move on to the semis playing Lock McCarthy. With the final seconds ticking off here in McAllister, it's official. McAllister 27, Guthrie 21. Take a timeout. Come back. It's the Terry Insure Group postgame show. And wish you a safe trip home. That was a good ball game. At South Point Baptist Church, we want you to cheer loud and be proud as we send the Blue Jays to victory. Afterwards, join us each Sunday in our friendly family atmosphere. South Point invites you, your family, and friends to join us each week when Sunday school beginning at 10 a.m. and our morning service at 11 a.m. South Point wishes all students this season to make fun and exciting memories, not only on the playing field, but in the classroom as well. And as always, go Blue Jays. Sometimes you need immediate care and can't get in to see your doctor during regular hours. With Mercy Convenient Care in Guthrie, you can walk in without an appointment and get the medical attention you need at a lower cost and with shorter waiting time than your local emergency room. The Mercy Convenient Care is located at 2919 South Division. For any concerns, call 405-282-6301. Services are provided by Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Choose Guthrie. Choose Mercy. Hello, Blue Jay family. I'm Pastor Hetty. I want to invite you to North Church Guthrie, where you can expect fun, Bible-centered kids and student ministries, life-giving groups, engaging worship, and powerful messages. I would love to see you and your family at North Church Guthrie this Sunday at 9.30 or 11 a.m., where our vision is to love God, love people, and follow Jesus. And remember, God loves you, and go win. For decades, Guthrie Athletics has been a source of pride in the Guthrie community. Hi, I'm Merritt Roberts, and I've been a Blue Jay supporter and Farm Bureau agent for many, many years. I want to wish all the Guthrie student athletes not only a great season on the field, course, track, or court, but in the classroom as well. If integrity, honesty, and accessibility are important to you, call Farm Bureau at 620-4920 and ask for Merritt. I would welcome the opportunity to give you a professional evaluation of your insurance needs or simply stop by and let's talk about the Jays. Today I'm sharing Golden Chick with the world. Are you ready to taste Golden Chick for the first time? 100% tenderloin. That's where the Golden Tenders come from. Marinated for 24 hours. It is amazing. Then we also got the rolls. Made fresh. It feels like they were just baking. You know why it feels that way? They were. Every time I go, I love to get extra okay. rolls, so I love it. Mm -hmm. We are being kind of photobombed right now by the one and only Clucky. Have you met Clucky the chicken? Don't get too starstruck. He's just a regular guy. One taste, and you're golden. Golden Chick. 
He's on Tender. That's like a chicken dating app. F&M Bank loves giving back to the communities we live and serve in. Banking with us ensures your money goes back into your community. Our goal is to provide you with reliable banking you can trust, delivered with unique passion for service. F&M Bank has all the modern banking services, mobile banking, lending, reward checking, electronic checking, and more. We invite you to come see us at any of our eight locations. Come see what relationship banking is all about. F&M Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Integrity Heat and Air provides award-winning heating, ventilating, and air conditioning services to Guthrie and the surrounding areas. Integrity's indoor air quality specialists are friendly experts at service, repair, and installation. They proudly serve and install the latest Linux products and service all other brands with their A-plus rating by the Better Business Bureau. Contact Integrity today at 405-833-5992 or online at integrityheatandair.com. Integrity Heat and Air, it's our pleasure to serve. Ace Tree Service is a proud member of the Guthrie Chamber of Commerce and a huge supporter of Guthrie Public Schools. Cody and Kathy Hayes are available 24-7 for emergency tree work when Mother Nature hits. Hayes has the experience and equipment needed for tree trimming, removal, and stump grinding. Fully insured, Hayes is the company that other tree guys call for help. For a free estimate, call 405-535-6560 or find them on Facebook. Go Blue Jays! Interbank wishes all the Guthrie Blue Jays student athletes a great season and will be cheering the whole way. Interbank is proud to be a part of the tremendous momentum in Guthrie with the growing success of our schools and city. Interbank continues the winning tradition of taking care of their customers with personal and business banking. Located just blocks from the Rock at 224 East Oklahoma or by phone at 405-282-0470. Interbank, in it for you. Member FDIC. The rights to this broadcast have been granted by Guthrie Public Schools. Any rebroadcast or republication of the programming without the written consent of Guthrie Public Schools is strictly prohibited. McAllister, Oklahoma. Buffaloes 12 and 0 as they take down the Guthrie Blue Jays tonight, 27 21. We welcome you inside the Terror Insure Group post game show as the Blue Jays season comes to an end here in the second round of the playoffs. Guthrie will end their season at 10 and 2. And uh, Guthrie started off strong, tie ball game at halftime. McAllister jumped out to that 13 point lead, but of course, Guthrie did not stop Phil. Uh, had the uh, touchdown at the 7:15 mark by Isaiah Hammond's 25-yard reception, made it 27-21. Guthrie had a chance offensively, turn it over on downs, yeah. and uh, McAllister able to run the clock out. Yeah, you know, it's it's one of those deals. Obviously, you're heartbroken that the kids don't get to move on. They played a great ball game tonight. Got to give credit. You got to give credit to the McAllister, but McAllister Buffaloes. They made adjustments at halftime. And came down and, and literally, for the most part, just shut down the Blue Jay offense in the second half. Did a great job adjusting. Um, Blue Jays battled to the bitter end like they have all year. 10-2, and two, what a great year. 10-2, and two, what a great year. Um, you know, I, I think about this senior class, right? This senior class was, was, has just came along. It's such great leaders. They play so hard for each other. Play well for the coaching staff. You know, this is a great senior class, just full of great kids and, and some outstanding football players. Many of them we're going to miss in years coming up. Yeah, no doubt about that. And uh, Guthrie season ends for the second year in a row in the second round of the playoffs. Last year to the hands of Collinsville, this year to the hands of McAllister. Two strong programs in Class 5A football. In fact, both of them are in the state semifinals this year. So uh, it is a, a definitely a, a more deep and more talented field in Class 5A football. And Guthrie was among the elites uh, this season. And uh, uh, I will have Guthrie somewhere probably in my top five. Uh, probably at number five. I'll, I'll, I'll look at it and be fair at, at the rank ratings type deal, but this is a top five program in uh, Class 5A football. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, that's where I'll have them at the end of the year. They'll be my five spot. And 
had them there five or four. I, you know, I came into this, I told you, oh, this is a game that I think the Blue Jays can win. You felt that way as well. And, and by golly, they did, they did everything they could to make his profits. Just came up a little short tonight. But, again, what a fabulous season for the Guthrie Blue Jays. Guthrie loses it tonight, 27-21. We will have the head coach of the Blue Jays, Kelly Beebe, coming up here on the Terra Insure Group postgame show. Go ahead and take a timeout. We're still working that. Obviously, this is the last game of the season, so I'm sure Coach Beebe is uh, talking to his players and coaches and, and some of the fans out there. So we'll give him enough time before he's able to speak with us. But we'll take a timeout. McAllister wins it tonight in the second round of the playoffs, 27-21. This is the Terra Insure Group postgame show. At South Point Baptist Church, we want you to cheer loud and be proud as we send the Blue Jays to victory. Afterwards, join us each Sunday in our friendly family atmosphere. South Point invites you, your family, and friends to join us each week with Sunday school beginning at 10 a.m. and our morning service at 11 a.m. South Point wishes all students this season to make fun and exciting memories not only on the playing field, but in the classroom as well. And as always, go Blue Jays! Sometimes you need immediate care and can't get in to see your doctor during regular hours. With Mercy Convenient Care in Guthrie, you can walk in without an appointment and get the medical attention you need at a lower cost and with shorter waiting time than your local emergency room. The Mercy Convenient Care is located at 2919 South Division. For any concerns, call 405-282-6301. Services are provided by Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Choose Guthrie. Choose Mercy. F&M Bank loves giving back to the communities we live and serve in. Banking with us ensures your money goes back into your community. Our goal is to provide you with reliable banking you can trust, delivered with unique passion for service. F&M Bank has all the modern banking services, mobile banking, lending, reward checking, electronic checking, and more. We invite you to come see us at any of our eight locations. Come see what relationship banking is all about. F&M Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. From McAllister, Oklahoma, it is a Terror Insure Group postgame show. Hey, uh, by the way, TIG giving the radio crew some swag tonight. Come on now. Guts, glory, Guthrie. On the front there, the yeah. gray sweatshirt. On the back, TIG, insuring your world. TIGOK.com is the website. Coming up here in a few moments, Coach Kelly Beebe will get his thoughts for the final time here. Of course, the Guthrie football program will have a banquet sometime in uh, late December, yep. maybe early January, yep. uh, and that's open to the public if you want to get your tickets and, and see this team uh, recognized for their 10 and, 10, 10 and 2 season. But uh, go ahead and go over the John Vance motor scoring summary here on the Terry and Sugar postgame show. Isaiah Hammond's got everything going, Phil, on a 52-yard touchdown run. Guthrie led 7-0. Eric McCarty, the standout junior running back from McAllister, tied the game 7-7. Isaiah Hammonds, once again, made it a 14-7 ball game, this time with a 67-yard touchdown run. Guthrie led 14-7, but McAllister scores with 4.59 left until halftime on a 19-yard touchdown pass, boat right to Prather, and that was our score at halftime, 14-14. McAllister scores back-to-back -to -back touchdowns in the second half. A 27-yard touchdown pass to Bass and a 54-yard touchdown run by McCarty made it 27-14 with 4.16 left to go in the third quarter. Guthrie would not stop. They would not quit as they scored with seven minutes and 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It was a 25-yard touchdown reception by Isaiah Hammonds. Extra point was good, 27-21. Unfortunately for Guthrie, that would be the final time they would score this season as McAllister wins it, 27-21. Yep. Great ball game. Uh, still got one more game ongoing in 5A football. Yeah. Collinsville and McGinnis in a good one as expected. As Collinsville's first true opponent this year, McGinnis giving them everything they want. Well, we talked about it on the huddle. You know, we, I said, you know, hey, everybody thinks that Collinsville is just going to waltz through McGinnis. You know, I've said it, best four-loss team in the state of Oklahoma, by, without a question, battling to the end. We're still awaiting Coach Kelly Beebe. We'll, we'll take a timeout, and uh, we'll hopefully when we come back, we'll be able to get him as McAllister defeats the Blue Jays 27-21. This is the Terry Insure Group postgame show. 
At Terry Insure Group, you'll be helped by lifelong Blue Jay fans. Seth Robbins, Jason Herzl, and Dennis Oaks aren't limited to any single provider. We'll work with you to find the carrier and the plan that fits you best. Terry Insure Group is an independent insurance agency specializing in home, auto, and commercial lines of insurance. Call Terry Insure Group at 405-293-4880 or stop by at 622 South Division or visit them online at TIGOK.com. Terry Insure Group, insuring your world. For centuries, it was a windswept prairie until the run of 89 saw settlers scramble for land and life in a newborn town as Oklahoma's territorial capital, Guthrie. Bank First is loyal to the preservation movement that reclaimed Oklahoma's first state capital. And we're loyal to the banking legacy born at the corner of First and Oklahoma streets. Bank First. Loyal to Oklahoma. Loyal to you. Terry Insure Group Post Game Show, TIGOK.com, 622 South Division. Seth Robbins, Jason Herzl, Dennis Oaks, and the ladies up front get it all going. As we get set for our post game interview with Blue Jay head coach Kelly Beebe, I think we're set with that. Let's go downstairs with Ronnie Phillips. Coach, you told us last week coming into this game that these are two mirror teams, both have great offenses, great running backs, and great defense. Some things didn't go the way. Tell us about the game tonight. Well, I mean, you know, we started out, uh, you know, I thought, you know, really dominant as far as, as, as defensively uh, and moved the ball, had the big run, you know, uh, and, you know, they kind of got acclimated. They made some good halftime adjustments, which we re readjusted to stopping the fourth. But, you know, ultimately uh, they made about three more plays than we did, the smoke route and then the hot route off number two when they were flopping. And our backside safety didn't get over, you know, and then they picked up a couple first downs that we weren't able to. Uh, gave ourselves a chance. You know, we, we said all week to our kids that, that uh, we thought we had to make this a second and fourth quarter ball game, uh, let our conditioning and, 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 the, and the season we played become a factor. And we did that, uh, you know, uh, came up, you know, short there on, the, on that last pass. You know, that was a tough catch, and I, I, thought he, I thought he made the catch. You know, it depends on where you're at. Some officials would have said good, some officials would have said bad, but in that situation, they waved it off. And, and then uh, we didn't have enough timeouts left to kill the clock. Or, you know, they were able to kill the clock and, and, you know, game over. But, you know, McAllister's got an outstanding ball club. I told our kids I thought there were six teams that were capable of winning this thing. Uh, McAllister, ourselves being, you know, two of them, then Bishop and Collinsville, and then Carl Albert and Lot Max. So, uh, on the road in this environment, you know, uh, I thought our kids handled themselves with class and character and battled, you know, the whole way through. And, and that's a good football team. I mean, they're, they're a big, long, athletic football team. It's got playoff experience uh, over the last two years, you know, uh, quarterfinals, then semifinals. So, uh, you know, I, we don't have anything to hang our heads about. You know, there's a couple of calls I'd like to have back. I know there's a couple of calls Coach Rice would like to have back, and I know there's a handful of plays we'd have to like to have back as players on the offensive defensive side. But anytime you lose a ball game the way we just did by six, uh, you know, you can second guess yourself. But, but ultimately, I thought we had a, a great football season. This team uh, and these fans, the community, student section, everything, it's just been a, it's been a lot of fun to be around. Uh, outstanding group of young men. Uh, and, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take Thanksgiving Day off or Thanksgiving break off and we'll be lifting weights the, the following Monday, get ready for 2022. Talk about your seniors and what they mean to this team. Well, and that's what we're fixing to get in the locker room and, and, and we're going to properly, you know, uh, love on those guys. But, you know, th this started a year ago kind of uh, – with Caden Ballard and some of those guys uh, kind of reclaiming that, that, that Guthrie mindset. Uh, and then these guys are just picked up and, and carried it. You know, they're kind of a blue collar team, kind of blue collar mentality, which I really think fits us. Um, you know, and they've been great leaders. Uh, they've been great in the classroom and, and, and practice and on the field. And, and you know, they're going to be sorely missed. I mean, we're graduating a whole bunch of really good ones. Uh, and got to get the next guys ready to step up. Fan, the fan base all year long has just been outstanding. Again, they showed out again tonight, McAllister. They're there every weekend at the Rock to support us. And again, the, this this is, is so nice to have a community like we have to play in front of fans like that. Oh, we're blessed. And I, you know, I try to mention to our fans and our students every time I get an opportunity to because it don't happen everywhere. And uh, you know, this is a long trip over here. You know, um, I think they got to see a pretty exciting game. Uh, 
I hate the outcome, but you know, uh, you know, our boys, I, I feel like have put a great product on the field every week. Our coaches have put a great product on the field every week, and they've they've gone out and clawed and, and battled, and, and it's something that we can all be proud of as a community. Uh, came up short, you know. I'm, I'm obviously not happy with with the result tonight, uh, uh, as no our kids or our players or our fans. But but uh, you can't undermine what they've done the entire season and what they did out here tonight against, you know, this bunch has been ranked one, two. The, all year, you know, based on what they had coming back, I picked them number two preseason behind Carl Albert, uh, talent-wise, and and size and strength. So, so uh, good ball club. Again, you know, I think either one of us could have came out on top and had a chance to go play for the whole thing. So we'll see how it shakes out. Thank you, Coach. Had a great season, ten and two, excellent season, battled all year long. Great, great season, Coach. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you, Coach. There are the thoughts of Blue Jay head coach Kelly Beebe as his Jays lose it tonight. Final score, 27-21 in the second round of the playoffs. And we need to hit a break here real quick, but uh, one of our good friends, won't mention him, but uh, one of our good friends reached out to me and said, McAllister had the best player on the field. After that, Guthrie probably had the best 21 athletes. Yeah, yeah, and I think, you know, it's – it's uh, it's been that way all year. I don't, I, you know, and, and, and listen, I need to say this because I've had people ask me, why do you always say the other team has the best player? Well, it's because we really believe they do. Yeah. That's not an insult to our kiddos. No. If anything, it's a great compliment because they overcome that. Yep. Game in and game out, and they just battle and do such a good job. And I thought Coach Beebe summarized this club so well yeah. in his post-game interview. But that senior class will be sorely missed. A lot of classy kids. A lot of good football players, a lot of kids that we can all be very proud of uh, if you're from the, the community of Guthrie. I mean, just outstanding young men. Take your time out. This is the Terry and Sure Group postgame show. Hello, Blue Jay family. I'm Pastor Hetty. I want to invite you to North Church Guthrie, where you can expect fun, Bible-centered kids and student ministries, life-giving groups, engaging worship, and powerful messages. I would love to see you and your family at North Church Guthrie this Sunday at 9.30 or 11 a.m., where our vision is to love God, love people, and follow Jesus. And remember, God loves you, and go win. Do you want to go from this to this? Are you tired of your pool looking like a swamp thing? Are you ready for the country club look right in your own backyard? If so, you have come to the right place. Russell Family Pools is one of the stop shop for all your pool needs. Openings, closing, weekly, monthly cleanings, pool equipment, maintenance. We do it all. We also offer power washing for all of your decks and concrete surroundings. Come be part of the family. Call Doug at any time, 405-323-3655. Exxon was founded by two combat-proven veterans to help businesses grow from mediocre to exceptional. We know from experience that your culture and trust throughout the organization drive superior performance. Most business owners focus on the urgent rather than the important. They are just struggling to survive. The team at Exxon helps owners identify challenges, build solutions, and focus on growth. Do you trust your team? Does your team trust you? If not, we can help. We are Exxon. Darren Shore Group postgame show from McAllister, Oklahoma. Blue Jays fall at 27-21. This is the Terror Insure Group postgame show. Time now for our North Church player of the game. At halftime, Phil, Isaiah, 14 carries, 160 yards, including a 67-yard touchdown run, a 52-yard touchdown run, and then in the third quarter, a 25-yard touchdown reception. So Isaiah Hammonds had all three touchdowns tonight for the Blue Jays as he goes over 200 rushing yards in a losing cause tonight. Isaiah Hammonds, the North Church player of the game. Yeah, well-deserved. You know, out of the last four ball games, Isaiah has been over 200 yards in three of those games. And and would have been well over 200 yards in the in the fourth one, but um, I think didn't play past the second quarter. But what a great year he's had. He's going to end up with around 1,500, 1,600 yards rushing. Yeah. yeah. Um, just a fabulous year for Isaiah, just a junior. Yeah, you know, we talked about losing a lot of those seniors, you know, and, and four of those bad boys are up front on the offensive line. So, yep. you know, there's a lot of work to be done. But I will tell you this, this coaching staff will do the work. They will get the kids ready. And we'll be ready to go in 2020, 2020 gosh darn, 2023, 22. 2022 22. football season. Yeah, god dang it. Well, we're going to take our final timeout of the 2021 season. Come back, wrap it up with us.
Blue Jays in a good one tonight. On a short end, though, 27-21. This is the Terry Insure Group postgame show. A's Funeral Home is a proud supporter of the Guthrie Blue Jays from the first game all the way to the championship game. With years of experience in funeral service, the Hayes family brings compassion and professional service during difficult times. Owners Chuck, Lynette, and Hope take pride in providing families and their loved ones quality care. The Hayes family supports Guthrie student-athletes on the playing field and in the classroom. Hayes Funeral Home is located on the corner of Noble and Wentz. Visit online at HayesFH.com. Final thoughts from the stadium are ahead on the Terra Insure Group postgame show. When garage door problems occur, don't call a kind of service company or maybe a repair guy. Call Paul Creed at A-Team Overhead Door. Paul owns and operates his company and has over 15 years of experience in residential and commercial overhead door service. Paul provides all garage door services from repairs to installations. With free estimates, Paul will work with you to decide the best possible solution for your garage door or opener problems. Call A-Team Overhead Door today. 405 642 7065. At Terry Insure Group, you'll be helped by lifelong Blue Jay fans. Seth Robbins, Jason Herzl, and Dennis Oaks aren't limited to any single provider. We'll work with you to find the carrier and the plan that fits you best. Terry Insure Group is an independent insurance agency specializing in home, auto, and commercial lines of insurance. Call Terry Insure Group at 405 293 4880 or stop by at 622 South Division or visit them online at TIGOK.com. Terry Insure Group, insuring your world. Back for the final time here on First National Field, Hook Eels Stadium. McAllister, Oklahoma, Pittsburgh County, a little, two, a little over two hours away from great city of Guthrie, Oklahoma. Blue Jays go down tonight. Final score to the Buffaloes, 27-21. Welcome back inside the Terry Insure Group postgame show. And before we get our final thoughts on this game, I, w- I want to give our, uh, our our thoughts here on, on our broadcast. This is probably one of the most rewarding seasons we've had as a broadcast team this year. Uh, the, the fan support has been tremendous. You guys have been giving us a lot of feedback, both positive and negative. We both like that, to, yep. to hear that. Yep. So these broadcasts can get better every single year. And we've won some awards uh, in the past and hopefully another one this year. But, uh, uh, but with that being said, this is one of the most rewarding seasons seasons uh, we've had and uh, just, you know, better in our, our side of things. So when people can't make it here or people who live out of state want to watch their grandchild play, uh, it, it, uh, it really helps uh, us to get all that support and uh, to put on a production. Yeah, it does. And, and you know, and it's, it's, easy, it's easier to do a good broadcast when you have great kids on the field. Yeah, You it know, it, it just is. And, and it's uh, so much fun. And and it's a lot of work, and of course, I, I'd be remiss, Ronnie. I don't, you know, I don't like giving him compliments, but but our leader here, Chris, he pulls it all together and makes it happen. He's he's the guy that invests countless dollars in new equipment, um, spends hours preparing, um, does all the stuff necessary so we can continue to do these things. So we really appreciate what you do. Yeah, buddy. I appreciate that. But our you know our operators, you know, Aaron Ryburn and, and Braden Russell, right. uh, you know. It's one thing to get it put together, but the way they're able to put it all together for the broadcast. And then our camera operators, Kel Evans, a junior at Guthrie High School. First class. Uh, Braden Russell, a junior. And Lance Evans, a seventh grader at Guthrie Junior High. They're all on our – and Mason Russell, an eighth grader yep. at uh, – at uh, Guthrie Junior High. Those are our camera operators. We don't have professional camera operators, but with that being said, they're pretty darn good. Uh, is there sometimes they're out of position? Sure. I mean, it's not a perfect uh, thing. Nobody's perfect. but uh, uh, And they don't have direct communication with us, so they do a lot of that stuff on their own. So a big thank you. I, I don't want to go too long, but uh, yeah. uh, our, our, those guys behind the scenes, we appreciate that. And the last thing i got to say is little brother, brody, little brother Ronnie. Yeah. What a great year. He came out of retirement. Move back home to take an unpaid job with Guthrie News Page to do Friday night football. Can't, can't say thanks enough to Sarah's beautiful wife. She's got terrible eyesight, but she's a wonderful woman. <laughs> no, I, I definitely – I'm glad to be back. It's yeah. It's been a long 18 years. Uh, we've been, <laughs> been wanting to get back a long time. Uh, we finally made it back with that said, you know, Chris calls me, we get back on, on Shawnee and goes, hey, by the way, you're in the booth tonight. So <laughs> he throws me right into the wolves like he always did when we were little and, and growing up. So it, it's – 
it was it was fun. So I just want to thank all, all my friends and family who are listening all year long. They come, they they they, they text me and they tell me what a great show we put on. Yeah. Uh, t talk about how great Phil is and how great Chris is, and tell me I need to improve, which is fine. You know, it's, it's my first year. <laughs> that's back. what friends do. But that's that's what my buddies do. But you know, I got Doug Doug Pearson li li listens up in Denver every single yeah, weekend, yeah. so he gives me feedback. Stay um, champion, so, Doug Pearson. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's uh, it's just nice to be back and be back in the community with Guthrie. Well, my son, you know, I've had two sons serve in the military overseas and all over the world. And, you know, my, my son, Michael, that was back and he had to fly out today at four o'clock. He landed back in Tampa. I got a text from him. He says, Dak gum it. You know, he yeah. immediately trying to watch it on his phone, was watching the end of the game on his phone. And so, you know, these former Blue Jays saw Jaden Chapel this morning, him and Dustin Bowman. You know, members of, of state championship team in 07. You know, big big contributors to the football program. They're they're with their kids now, watching in the man cave. I mean, it's yeah, just yeah. you know, it's it's what makes Friday Night Lights so 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 special, and and it's special to do it in a community like Guthrie. Yeah, we also want to say a big thank you to Cheyenne back in our Stillwater yeah. studio staying back there making sure everything goes as planned and uh you talk about behind the scenes Cheyenne yeah. uh, on our 93.7 FM radio dial big thank you Cheyenne in her first season with us yeah doing uh, a great had, job yeah she had big shoes to fill uh filled them in nicely so Cheyenne yeah. it was a great great season working with you on 93.7 FM final thoughts here guys got three ends their season second round of the playoffs for the second year in a row uh 10 and 2 record and uh only lost Carl Albert in the state semifinals their only other loss McAllister, who's in the state semifinals, so yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. Listen, if you can go ten and two, there's a lot of teams that like to go ten and two in that district. In that district, and I, and I think it's the way these kids conducted themselves. They they battled hard every Friday. Um, they they represented our community unbelievably well. Um, never there wasn't one thing done on the field this entire season. That I went, Dad, gum it. Yeah. Why would he do that? I mean, it was just first class all the way. That's a, that's a testament to the kids, to the coaches, to their parents, to the administration. You know, it's great to be a Blue Jay. Yeah, I mean, the, these kids are, are really, really great. They're, they they have each other's back every single yeah. week. If you watch at, at, after any of our home games, especially, you'll see them stay on the field. They they, they hug each other. They tell each other they love him. You know, yeah. last week when they got the win against Noble the Rock, much of the four or five of the seniors went out to the Rock and they stood out there and had a little moment to themselves. And guess what? Landon Herzl right there, at number 15, is waiting there at midfield, waiting for him to come back to tell him, "Hey, great job! What a great career you had." So that's the kind of stuff that you love to see and the stuff that you love. And that's what's so awesome about Guthrie, the community, and Guthrie Blue. Yeah, right I, can, I can always you can always we're looking across the field right now at our kids over there and you can always pick out the seniors they haven't taken their sheet uniforms off yet i mean it's, it's just you know if you if you played football growing up you know when that last game's played as a senior you just don't want to take it off right i mean it's just something that means so much to you you know there's a lot of heartbroken kids in that in that locker room right now and but i tell you i'm so proud of them and you see them around town you see them in the hallway school give them a hug tell them how much we appreciate them they put it on the line every Friday night and entertain our community. And boy, they didn't disappoint tonight. Just came up a little short. And you will see them in the community. I mean, a lot of the seniors this past week were serving uh, Thanksgiving dinner yeah. to, to my son and the yeah. other kids, I guess. So yeah. you will see them. You'll see them in Little League yeah. events, running the chains. Yeah. I mean, you'll see them all over the community. Just great kids we have. First Guthrie. class. First class. Absolutely. So congratulations to the senior class. And I know the junior class, the heavy junior class, will work hard. And the sophomores who learn the game uh, as sophomores will get better as juniors. And uh, the freshmen will we'll see some new sophomores next year so uh, it's just part of the program and uh, so a big thank you to uh, all the players for their availability this year to all the coaches to for all their availability we bother them least as possible but uh, we do have to bother them for information yeah. And, yeah. and questions and all that good stuff so a big big thank you to them a big thank you to the administration at Guthrie Public Schools the first year we actually had a contract yeah. to do these games with, with Guthrie Public Schools yeah, yeah. a contract yeah. with Guthrie Public Schools so we appreciate Dr. Mike Simpson yeah. and uh, Assistant Superintendent Doug Ogle uh, with that process yeah. so uh, but uh, a big thank you to all that and before we get out of here a big thank you to the great folks here at McAllister oh, oh, holy smokes first class from the athletic director to the yeah. superintendent to the fans in the front fans of us themselves. to the people in the press box yeah. they treated us so nice it's one of the better one of the better places we've been treated all season long well, hard, we hard got, to root against them well yeah. we got a great compliment one of the moms came up at the end of the game i don't know if you heard what she said I, no i didn't hear she right. said hey you guys do a good job I go, well we appreciate that and she goes no no really i was 
listening to you. You're not homers. You guys really, if, you, if we did something right, you told us. You, know, you Absolutely. said it. And, and so that we appreciate that. But they have. They came up and told us about their tailgate, invited us down to yep. eat with them. Just, just great the, parking? Yeah, great parking. I mean, th- listen, the only thing bad about tonight scoreboard. is the scoreboard. Yeah. <laughs> but, but you can't, you, you know, you, it feels a little better. It doesn't feel good. It feels a little less stingy when you lose to a team where everybody's first class, everybody conducts themselves in a way that, that I know McAllister should be very proud of their fans, their players, their coaches, and their administration. Great job by everybody tonight. Definitely a fun season. It's time to yep. move on to Guthrie Blue Jay basketball and Guthrie wrestling. So it should be a fun winter sports. Spring sports, you're on deck. It'll be a fun sports season. Time for us to exit stage left again. Thank you to all of our great, great listeners out there. And I can't thank our sponsors enough yep. the entire season. I mean, these, these sponsors come up to us wanting to go on the broadcast, and they allow us to have these cameras, these traveling miles, these these microphones, all that good stuff. A big, big thank you to all of our wonderful, wonderful sponsors. In fact, there's so many, we can't go through all of them. Yep. But a big, big thank you to all of our great, great sponsors. And uh, uh, we hope to move on to the Wrestling Mat production as well as the Basketball Corp production any sponsorships out there want to be a part of that we'll be glad to have you as we get set for winter sports final score for the final time here in McAllister Oklahoma on side of the class 5a second round playoffs the McAllister Buffaloes improved to 12 and 0 on the season while ending Guthrie season at 10 and 2 with the score of 27 to 21 for our entire production crew Ronnie Phillips I'm for Phil Nichols, I'm Chris Evans until next time have a great weekend and as always go Blue Jays Get three football 2021 is brought to you by Interbank, strengthening our communities through community banking. Golden Chick, the original and still the best. South Point Baptist Church, welcome home. Exxon, we build better business owners. Terror Insure Group, insuring your world. John Vance Auto Group, where it's comfortable to buy a car. North Church Guthrie, you matter. Mercy Hospital, Logan County. Your life is our life's work. And f and Bank, a neighbor you can count on. Guthrie Blue Jay football is also brought to you by Guthrie Tag Agency, A-Team Overhead Door, Hayes Funeral Home, Sonic at I-35 and Highway 33, Bank First, Hayes Tree Services, Russell Family Pools, and Merritt Roberts Farm Bureau, Oklahoma. You've been listening to Guthrie Blue Jay football on the Guthrie Radio Network, home of the four-time state champions. Until next time, go Blue Jays.